Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Resurrection of Reiki. I awakened a god-level martial soul. Chapter 101. Dog, who is it called? These extremely arrogant words slowly came out of Lu Qingchen's mouth. When everyone present heard this sentence, they immediately exploded. Who is this person who dares to speak to senior brother Li like that? That's right, this kid doesn't even have the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm, how dare he? Brother Li Yi broke through to the earth martial realm two days ago, this kid is going to die. After hearing Lu Qingchen's arrogant words, other disciples of the Beastmaster sect shouted loudly. This kid is a warrior from the Tianzu domain, so it's interesting. After Ling Yun of Ling Xiaozong heard this, the corners of his mouth curled up. Seeing Li Yi succumb to a martial artist in the spiritual realm, he seemed to be in a good mood. Sister, he is so brave. The voice reached the ears of several people in the Monster Academy, and the eccentric girl suddenly said to Lang Qianju in surprise. What's the use of being brave? With his eighth level of spiritual martial arts, he is no match for that earth martial artist. Lang Qianju frowned, as if he had some disdain for Lu Qingchen's actions. The young man in front of him looked like he was only at the eighth level of the spiritual martial realm, so he dared to speak like this to a strong man in the earth martial realm. In her opinion, it was an extremely unwise behavior. What's more, Lu Qingchen secretly cut off the elixir while they were fighting. Such behavior made her very unhappy. For a moment, Lang Qian absolutely disgusted the young man in front of him. Hearing the chattering discussions all around, Li Yi's face gradually turned livid. He was already full of flesh, but now he became even uglier. It's really ridiculous, even a waste at the eighth level of the spiritual martial realm dares to shout in front of me. Let me die. Enveloped by Li Yi's soul power, the voice full of anger was like thunder. It resounded on the top of this empty mountain. Immediately, everyone's eyes on the field were focused on Lu Qingchen's delicate face. They all looked forward to the boy's face when he heard this. But when they saw the expression on Lu Qingchen's face, they couldn't help feeling a little disappointed. The young man's handsome face was not as distraught as they imagined, but indifferent. Boom, qi and blood gushed out, soul power shook, and Lu Qingchen's body suddenly moved. The fist wrapped in golden soul power swung up and slammed towards Li Yi fiercely. Oh, things that are beyond their control. Facing Lu Qingchen's offensive, Li Yi sneered, and waved his fist to meet Lu Qingchen. Boom, in an instant, the sound of fists colliding surged out. There was a loud noise, and dust was flying all around, covering the sight for a moment. A figure suddenly flew upside down and fell to the ground hard, quite embarrassed. Hey, why bother? Seeing this scene in front of them, everyone on the field suddenly sighed. From their point of view, Lu Qingchen's actions were completely meaningless. When the dust dissipated and the scene gradually became clear, everyone's eyes widened. How can that be? A series of exclamations sounded, and everyone showed incredible expressions. They thought it was the boy at the eighth level of spirit martial arts who flew out, but they didn't expect it to be Li Yi from the Beastmaster sect. Oh, it seems that your own strength is not as powerful as what you say. Lu Qingchen shook his arm, expressing his disdain for Li Yi unabashedly. Li Yi didn't expect that this young man in the spirit martial realm was so powerful that he suffered such a big loss. What are you all still doing in a daze? Give it to me. Seeing the shocked expressions of the disciples of the Beastmaster sect, Li Yi was furious. He wanted to use the advantage of numbers to surround and kill Lu Qingchen. Hearing Li Yi's words, the warriors of the Beastmaster sect reacted immediately and rushed towards Lu Qingchen one after another. Do you really think that more people are useful? Seeing the disciples of the Beastmaster sect rushing towards him, Lu Qingchen took out the frozen cloud sword from the storage ring. Call out! A sharp sword light flashed across, and the disciple who rushed in the front was instantly split in half. Seeing such a bloody scene, the remaining warriors of the Beastmaster sect backed away in fright, how could they dare to step forward? They don't want to be a corpse. For a while, the atmosphere on the field became stalemate. Excellent swordsmanship. Shangtai's strength is extraordinary, I admire it. Just when everyone was silent, a voice of admiration came from Ling Xiaozong's direction. Lu Qingchen turned his head and found a young man in white looking at him with a smile on his face. Brother, you have great strength, why don't you consider joining forces with me, Ling Xiaozong, I will definitely not let you down. 
Seeing Liu Qingqin turn his head to look at him, Ling Yun expressed his thoughts. Hearing these words, Li Yi immediately showed an angry expression, staring at Ling Yun firmly. Oh, join forces, you can talk about how to join forces. Liu Qingqin looked at him with a smile, feeling a little funny in his heart. It is our Ling Xiaozong and you who temporarily form an alliance and share the opportunities obtained in the secret realm. Ling Yun said to Liu Qingqin seriously, then glanced around. I think even with your brother's strength, facing the siege of so many people, you still can't stand it. Ling Yun's voice continued to sound, but it was slightly threatening. It makes sense, so what are the conditions for forming an alliance? I don't think there is a free lunch in the world. Liu Qingqin nodded and continued to speak with a smile. Of course there are conditions. First of all, we will share 80% of the spiritual fruit on that spiritual tree. It turns out that this is the case. This alliance proposal is really good, but... But what? Your Excellency just say it. Seeing that Liu Qingqin seemed to agree with him, Ling Yun said with a smile on his face. But, I don't want to ally with a bunch of trash. Liu Qingqin's mocking voice sounded all around. All of a sudden, the warriors on Wagwo's side stared wide-eyed. What is this man doing? Did he know that this young man in white was also at the Earth Martial Realm? Ling Yun, who was still smiling at first, couldn't laugh anymore after hearing this sentence. Everyone only saw his face darken at a speed visible to the naked eye. Liu Qingqin's words made him finally wake up. This young man had no intention of forming an alliance with him from the beginning to the end. He completely took Ling Yun for a fool. How dare you, trick me! At this moment, Ling Yun was so angry that his whole body was trembling, even when he said this sentence, his teeth were chattering. No, I'm just telling the truth, please don't take it to your heart. Facing Ling Yun's questioning, Liu Qingqin replied helplessly with an innocent face. Disciple of Ling Xiaozong, go up to me and kill this person. Seeing Liu Qingqin's innocent expression, Ling Yun couldn't bear it any longer and roared crazily. In fact, this cannot be blamed on Liu Qingqin, he really did not expect that this disciple of Ling Xiaozong would propose an alliance with him. Faced with Ling Yun's outlandish request, he certainly had to tease him a bit. What does Ling Yun think of Liu Qingqin as an alliance with a group of invaders? What's more, with Liu Qingqin's strength, is it necessary to form an alliance with an earth martial realm? Apart from traveling with Yu Shan and a few others, Liu Qingqin still prefers to act alone. Only the weak will stick together, and the strong will walk alone. Is he, Liu Qingqin, a strong man? According to the realm of cultivation, he is indeed not considered a strong man. But the criterion for judging a strong person is not the realm of cultivation, but whether he has the heart of a strong person. Liu Qingqin is obviously such a person. Hearing Ling Yun's crazy voice, Ling Xiaozong's disciples attacked Liu Qingqin one after another. Facing the attacks of several martial artists at the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm, Liu Qingqin stretched out his palm and lightly pressed against the void. A flaming palm covering the sky and the sun appeared out of thin air and ruthlessly suppressed those Ling Xiaozong disciples. Boom! A huge roar sounded, and those disciples of Ling Xiaozong who were enveloped by the palm of flame fell to the ground one after another. Call out! Call out! Just when Liu Qingqin was about to launch the next wave of offensive, two figures suddenly appeared on the top of the mountain. Brother Chen, are you here too? A slightly surprised voice came. The next moment, a burly body rushed towards Liu Qingqin. Why are you here, boy, hey, what's the matter with so many injuries on your body? Seeing this burly figure rushing towards him, Liu Qingqin seemed a little surprised. But after discovering many wounds on Yu Shan's body, Liu Qingqin's face turned cold. I, boom, hearing Liu Qingqin's words, Yu Shan was just about to speak when he suddenly felt his feet tremble. The mountain vibrated crazily at this moment, as if something was about to emerge from the ground. Just when everyone looked solemn, a black shadow suddenly emerged from the cave on the top of the mountain. After this black shadow appeared, it attracted everyone's attention. Who are you? A martial artist who was relatively close to the shadow shouted loudly. This martial artist is the disciple of the Beastmaster sect. Hearing his voice, the black shadow slowly raised his head. A ferocious grimace suddenly appeared in his sight. Blue-faced fangs, a pair of eyes bursting with a strange red light. You are, 
Seeing this terrifying grimace, the disciple of the Beastmaster sect made a trembling voice. Before he finished speaking, the black shadow rushed towards the disciple of the Beastmaster sect. Just when the Beastmaster Zong warrior was about to resist, this black shadow got into his body directly. Hey, what's going on, what the hell is this? Seeing that he was not harmed, the warrior became a little puzzled. But no one on the court answered his question. Lu Qingqin was staring at this disciple of the Beastmaster sect with a serious expression at the moment. Not only that, but everyone else on the field stared at him solemnly. Seeing many eyes looking at him, this warrior of the Beastmaster sect seemed a little flattered. You, you guys, what are you looking at me for? But before he finished speaking, the disciple suddenly lost his voice. Help me. A moment later, a hoarse voice came. This Beastmaster sect disciple stretched out his palm to Li Yi, as if he wanted to ask for help. Pawn. Just after saying this, under the watchful eyes of Lu Qingqin and others, the head of this Beastmaster sect disciple suddenly exploded. Many unknown liquids sprayed out, and some of them even landed on Li Yi's face. The headless disciple of the Beastmaster sect fell slowly, and the black shadow reappeared in everyone's sight. That, is that, the mysterious spirit. Seeing the shadow reappear, a trembling voice came from the direction of the Monster Academy. It was the eccentric girl who spoke. The mysterious spirit, what is that? Hearing what the girl said, those Wuhan University students asked aloud. As if hearing the voice, the black figure looked at the young man with scarlet eyes, and then rushed forward instantly. Seeing the black shadow rushing towards him, the Wuhan University student swung his long knife and slashed at the black shadow. The black shadow was cut in half, but it didn't disappear, but continued to get into the student's body. I, I don't want to. Dot die. The hoarse voice of this Wuhan University student sounded like the wailing of a ghost. The next moment, the Wuhan University student's body exploded, turning into a cloud of blood mist in the air. Everyone on the field saw this scene, their hands and feet were cold, as if falling into an abyss. Brother Chen, what the hell is this? There was a trembling voice from Yu Shan, facing such a strange scene, even he felt cold all over. This black shadow doesn't seem to be an entity, and ordinary attacks are useless to him. Liu Qingqin looked solemnly at the place where the student was, and said slowly. Sure enough, after the student from Wuhan University died, this black shadow reappeared. However, Liu Qingqin found that the black figure's body seemed to turn red a little. Hearing Yu Shan's voice, the black figure slowly turned his head, his scarlet eyes looked at where Yu Shan was. There seemed to be a terrifying smile on its ferocious ghost face. The next moment, this black shadow suddenly rushed towards Yu Shan. Just as Yu Shan took out his stick and was about to sweep at the black shadow, a crimson flame flew out of Liu Qingqin's hand. As soon as the flame met the black shadow, it began to blaze. Ah, the black shadow burned by the flames let out a shrill scream. Hearing the scream of the black shadow, everyone present couldn't help but feel their scalps go numb. As the flame burned, the black shadow burst and turned into a cloud of colorful mist in the air. The mist slowly condensed, and then turned into a drop of colorful liquid. Liu Qingqin grabbed it with a wave of his hand, and the drop of colorful liquid landed on his hand. Under everyone's gaze, Liu Qingqin said with a smile. It's just a fierce spirit condensed from resentment after the death of a warrior. It's nothing to be afraid of. That's good. As Liu Qingqin's voice sounded, the hearts of everyone who had been hanging on fell. The weird phenomenon just now really scared them a lot. For a while, the atmosphere on the court became dignified again. At this moment, a red shadow suddenly appeared from the entrance of the cave. It's just that after the red shadow appeared, everyone didn't notice its existence for a while. Because they were all attracted by another voice. Boom. A loud noise came from the northernmost part of Tianzu's secret realm. Everyone who heard the voice looked towards the northernmost part of the secret realm. All I saw was a green beam of light rising into the sky, soaring into the sky, and everyone in the secret realm could see it. An ancient palace slowly rises from the ground. Boom. At this time, there were several loud noises reaching everyone's ears. Just like before, a beam of light rose into the sky from the other three directions of the secret realm. Immediately afterwards, three ancient palaces slowly rose up in the place covered by the beam of light. What are those beams of light? 
could it be that inheritance has appeared? There are still four palaces, which direction should we go? Go to the north, where there is the color of life. Quote dot 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 quote. For a moment, everyone on the top of the mountain became excited. You must know that they came to the secret realm this time to find the holy inheritance. But what they don't know is that danger is coming. Ah, a shrill scream interrupted everyone's beautiful reverie. The eyeballs of a disciple of Ling Xiaozong suddenly swelled, and then the whole body swelled into a huge ball. Senior brother Ling Yun, save, save me. This Ling Xiaozong disciple roared, and walked slowly towards Ling Yun's direction. He said he was walking, but he actually rolled towards where Ling Yun was like a ball. Seeing this disciple turned into such an appearance, Ling Yun was also very frightened, and quickly backed away. At this moment Ling Yun didn't care about the safety of this disciple of Ling Xiaozong, instead, all he thought about were those four palaces. Why, why didn't you save, me? At this time, the two eyeballs of this Ling Xiaozong disciple had already exploded, and his face was full of resentment. Boom, single quote. As soon as the words fell, this disciple of Ling Xiaozong exploded into a cloud of blood just like the two before. But what was different from just now was that this cloud of blood mist floated in the air and never dissipated for a long time. The red ghost image did not appear again. This kind of change made everyone on the field stunned. After all, just now, Lu Qingqin killed a fierce spirit with his own hands. Walk. Just when everyone was stunned, Lu Qingqin pulled up Yushan, turned around and was about to run down the mountain. Wait, Brother Chen. But this time, Yu Shan didn't leave with Lu Qingqin directly, but stopped his figure. What's wrong? Lu Qingqin was a little surprised by Yu Shan's abnormal behavior. Can you take Sister Lan with you? She was the one who saved me before. Yu Shan was a little embarrassed to speak. After all, he could see that the situation at the moment was very dangerous. Sister Lan, hearing what he said, Lu Qingqin saw a beautiful figure standing behind Yu Shan. And Yilin was looking at Lu Qingqin curiously at the moment, just now Lu Qingqin shot and killed the black shadow just now, she just saw it in her eyes. Oh, you can do it, kid. Lu Qingqin patted Yushan on the shoulder and made fun of it. Brother Chen, no, it's not what you think. Hearing Lu Qingqin's words, Yushan waved his hands again and again, and said eagerly. Leave first, don't worry about me, I have my own way to leave. Just when Lu Qingqin was about to take her away together, and Yilin suddenly said. As a genius of the temple, and Yilin was extremely proud in her heart. Hearing what Yu Shan said to Lu Qingqin at this moment, she suddenly felt a little uncomfortable. When will an Yilin need the help of an 8th level Lingwu warrior? It's a pity that before she finished speaking, several red ghost figures emerged from the cave on the top of the mountain. Immediately afterwards, the land around the mountain collapsed, and countless black ghosts emerged. Everyone who saw this scene felt their scalps go numb. These, are all evil spirits. A student from Wuhan University spoke tremblingly, and he could tell the shock in his heart from the sound. As soon as so many black ghosts appeared, they climbed up the mountain one after another. It is estimated that within a few minutes, the crowd will be surrounded. Senior brother Ling Yun, what should I do? Seeing this scene, a disciple of Ling Xiaozong spoke to Ling Yun in some horror. I do not know either. Hearing the voice from the same door, Ling Yun also looked solemn at the moment. Sister Lan, is there still a way for you to leave now? Seeing so many fierce spirits climbing towards the top of the mountain one after another, Yu Shan suddenly spoke. I, hearing what Yu Shan said, and Yilin frowned, not knowing what to say for a moment. It can be seen that she is also quite hesitant at the moment, and there is no good way to leave. These black ghosts have already climbed up the mountainside at this moment, and they will reach the top of the mountain in two minutes at most. Ah, at this moment, another martial artist screamed. It was the other red ghosts that appeared just now that attacked him. Hearing the scream of that warrior, Lu Qingqin suddenly had an ominous feeling in his heart. As soon as he turned his head, he saw a red ominous spirit rushing towards him. A fiery flame was thrown out of Lu Qingqin's hand in an instant. After encountering Lu Qingqin's attack, the red ghost and fierce spirit burst into flames. But this ominous spirit seemed to be much stronger than the black ominous spirit just now, and Lu Qingqin's attack did not directly kill it. Under Yu Shan's and An Yilin's shocked gazes, the red-haired ominous spirit directly entered Lu Qingqin's body. 
After the red fierce spirit got into Lu Qingchen's body, Lu Qingchen's body stopped moving in an instant. Brother Chen, don't scare me. Seeing Lu Qingchen's appearance, Yu Shan's complexion suddenly turned pale. In his heart, Lu Qingchen in the past was omnipotent. But after seeing the tragic situation of those warriors, Yu Shan suddenly felt a little more fear in his heart. He was afraid that Lu Qingchen would also become like this. If Lu Qingchen fell because of this, he would regret it for the rest of his life. Thinking of this, Yu Shan felt anxious and regretted not leaving directly with Lu Qingchen just now. Seeing that Lu Qingchen's body was motionless, Yu Shan quickly patted Lu Qingchen's head. Wake up, brother Chen, wake up. Yu Shan patted Lu Qingchen on the head and shouted his name loudly. I'm afraid that Lu Qingchen will turn into a pile of blood mist like those warriors just now. Okay, okay, stop shooting, if you continue to shoot, he was not killed by the evil spirit, but he was killed by you first. Seeing Yu Shan slapping Lu Qingchen on the head forcefully, and Yulin hurriedly dissuaded her. If the filming continues, the brother Chen in Yu Shenko will die. After this red fierce spirit got into Lu Qingchen's body, Lu Qingchen only felt his whole body tremble. Immediately afterwards, this fierce red spirit came to his spiritual sea. At this moment, there are many hazy mist floating in Lu Qingchen's spiritual sea. As soon as this ominous spirit entered his spiritual sea, it bit the floating mist fiercely. Lu Qingchen suddenly felt a sharp pain in his head. But at the next moment, a jade-colored light shot fiercely at the red fierce spirit. The jade god Lotus of Creation was originally spinning slowly in Lu Qingchen's spiritual sea. But suddenly felt that there were creatures invading his domain, so he immediately launched a counterattack against the invaders. After the jade colored light fell on the red ominous spirit, the ominous spirit immediately stopped its next actions. Immediately afterwards, the necklace on Lu Qingchen's neck shone brightly. After an estimated tenth of a second, wisps of black mist drifted out from the red ominous spirit. When the black mist dissipated, the remaining seven colored mist turned into a drop of crystal clear colored liquid. Without support, the drop of colored liquid slowly fell into Lu Qingchen's spiritual sea. Ah, cool. Under the gaze of Yu Shan and Yilin, a shameful voice came from Lu Qingchen's mouth. The two who were anxious just now were stunned for an instant. The situation is wrong. Lu Qingchen's reaction at this moment is completely different from that of those warriors just now. Shouldn't they hold their heads and ask everyone for help, and then explode into a cloud of blood? Under the shocked gazes of the two, Lu Qingchen slowly opened his eyes. My head hurts so much, who the hell is sneaking up on me without talking about martial arts? Just when Lu Qingchen opened his eyes and was about to look for the murderer, two faces suddenly appeared in front of him. Snapped, Brother Chen, is that you, are you okay? Hearing Lu Qingchen's moan, Yu Shan and Yulin turned their faces to stare at him. Yu Shan even gave Lu Qingchen a big mouth. Lu Qingchen, who was already sober, was instantly stunned by the sudden big mouth. Who I am? Where am I? Wu, that's great, Brother Chen, you didn't die. Seeing that Lu Qingchen was fine, Yu Shan hugged Lu Qingchen and wept with joy. There was a pop, and Lu Qingchen gave Yu Shan a loud mouth. Why are you crying? I'm not dead yet. How dare you attack me when I'm not prepared? Lu Qingchen stared at Yu Shan with unfriendly eyes, thinking to himself that this kid doesn't talk about martial arts. It's fine, what should we do now? Seeing that Lu Qingchen was fine, and Yilin let go of her hanging heart and hurriedly asked. These ominous spirits are too terrifying, and there are so many of them. Even if an Yilin is a genius in the temple, there is no good way to escape at this moment. Ah, a series of screams sounded one after another, and several warriors were attacked by fierce spirits. Leng Qianzhu was also stared at by a red-headed ominous spirit at this moment. Just after the ominous spirit got into her body, a dazzling light suddenly appeared from Leng Qianzhu's body. Immediately afterwards, the red-headed ominous spirit popped out of her body again. But Leng Qianzhu's face turned pale at this moment. It can be seen that Leng Qianzhu expended a lot of energy in order to force this red ominous spirit out of his body. Spiritual Defense Secret Treasure Lu Qingchen instantly judged that this student of the Monster Academy also had a spiritual defense secret. Sister, let's go. Just after Lang Qianzhu forced the red ominous spirit out of his body, the eccentric girl shouted anxiously to her. Xuanxuan, we may not be able to escape. 
Seeing that the densely packed black ominous spirits were about to reach the top of the mountain, Leng Qianju said with a wry smile. Sister, you are stupid, we can fly away. Leng Xuanxuan explained while pointing to the wings on her back. After hearing her words, Leng Qianju's eyes lit up, and he quickly hugged his younger sister. The three members of the Monster Academy lifted into the air in an instant, and then flew towards a palace in the distance. When everyone on the field saw this scene, their eyes lit up. But after a while, the expressions of many people became gloomy again. They cannot fly like Lang Xuanxuan. Not everyone can fly with the ability of Wuhan. Martial spirits that can fly are extremely rare. As for martial souls that can fly in the spirit realm, at least they must have four or more soul slots. Those flying martial souls with only one or two soul slots must break through the earth martial realm. As for those warriors whose own martial souls do not have the ability to fly, they can only rely on the spiritual power wings condensed from their martial souls to fly after their realm breaks through to the heavenly martial realm. As students of the Monster Academy, Lang Qianju and the others all had extremely strong talents. But Lang Qianju still had to rely on Lang Xuanxuan's help to leave this mountaintop. There is no other reason, because Lang Qianju's martial soul itself does not have the ability to fly. After seeing the people from the Monster Academy get away, other people on the field followed suit. Xu San, can't you fly, take me out of here. At this moment Ling Yun suddenly spoke to a disciple of Ling Xiaozong. But I can only bring one person, what should they do? At this moment, Xu San seemed a little embarrassed, because among the remaining few people was a close friend of his. With the flying ability of his martial soul, he can only take one person away. Xu San, take me away, please. After Ling Yun spoke, the rest of the people also asked him for help. In such a crisis, their only hope of survival is the young man in front of them. As for the senior brother Ling Yun, they were talking about. I'm sorry, but my own life is not important. Facing so many people's requests, Xu San was full of embarrassment, but he still wanted to save his best friend. As for Ling Yun, he didn't really want to save him. Because of Ling Yun's performance just now, Xu San has already been extremely disappointed in this fellow brother. Seemingly seeing Xu San's inner thoughts, Ling Yun suddenly said, Xu San, take me away, and I will share 90% of all the harvest in the secret realm with you. If there is a holy inheritance, it is all yours. Quote, just when Xu San was about to take his best friend away, Ling Yun's words made him change his mind instantly. Senior brother Ling Yun, is what you said true? Of course, if you don't believe me, I can make an oath. While Xu San was thinking, Ling Yun suddenly spoke. I, Ling Yun, swear here that if Xu San takes me away, all the gains in the secret realm will be. If I break my oath, I, Ling Yun, will be wiped out and die a terrible death. Hearing Ling Yun made the oath, Xu San immediately agreed. Okay, senior brother Ling Yun, I'll take you away. Under the shocked eyes of several fellow disciples, Xu San and Ling Yun slowly lifted into the sky. Xu San, how could you do this? That Xu San's best friend yelled at Xu San who had ascended into the air, he didn't believe that Xu San would give up on him because of a little cultivation resources. Sorry, people die for money, birds die for food, and brother Ling Yun gave too much. People die for money, birds die for food, brother Ling Yun gave too much. Xu San turned his head and saw his best friend's distraught appearance, and said calmly. He suddenly felt that the choice he made this time was right. Xu San, you did a good job, senior brother, I will never let you regret it. Seeing the desperate faces of the Ling Xiaozong disciples below, Ling Yun praised Xu San. Let's go over there now. Ling Yun pointed to the palace in the north, motioning for Xu San to take him to the ruins for inheritance. The people from the Monster Academy just now went to the palace in the west. Xu San, you will regret it. Under the desperate screams of the remaining disciples of Ling Xiaozong, Xu San and Ling Yun went to the ruins at the northernmost part of the secret realm. What shall we do now? Seeing the people from Monster Academy and Ling Xiaozong leave one after another, and Yilin also became a little anxious. Even if she is a genius in the temple, she can't deal with so many black ominous spirits. What's more, there are several red ominous spirits staring at them. Hearing An Yilin's words, Lu Qingqin chuckled lightly and joked. This will have to rely on Yushan's help. What? 
Hearing what Liu Qingqin said, Yu Shan was a little confused. Ah what, you are flying. Seeing that Yu Shan was still in a daze, and Yilin urged Yu Shan to get up softly. I, I can't fly. Hearing what the two said, Yu Shan said a little aggrieved. What is brother Chen doing? You know I can't fly and you still say that. For a while, Yu Shan began to complain in his heart. Seeing that what Yu Shan said didn't look like a lie, and Yilin turned her head and stared at Lu Qingqin with some doubts. Before she could speak, a pair of powerful golden dragon wings spread out behind Lu Qingqin. Holding up Yu Shan's burly body with both hands, Lu Qingqin said with some malicious intentions. Miss En, I can only wrong you first. Seeing the two of them like this, and Yilin was speechless for a moment. At this moment, Lu Qingqin's hands were dragging Yu Shan's shoulders, and it was inconvenient to leave with An Yilin. If An Yilin wanted to leave now, she could only hold Yu Shan's hand, or hug Yu Shan's waist. At present, Yu Shan seems to have no waist. Seeing that Lu Qingqin was staring at her innocently at this moment, An Yilin felt a little anxious. Miss En, how about I take Yu Shan away first and then come to pick you up? Seeing that An Yilin hesitated, Lu Qingqin continued to speak. No. Just take the two of us and leave together. And Yilin held Yu Shan's big hand without any further hesitation. But if you look closely, you will find that An Yilin's pretty face is slightly reddened. But fortunately, she kept her head down so that the two fools didn't notice. As a genius disciple of the temple, An Yilin spent almost all her time on cultivation. In the temple, she also basically contacts and communicates with some female disciples in the temple. As for the male disciples in the temple, she hardly even said a word. But at this moment, she wants to directly hold hands with a person of the opposite gender whom she has just met for a few days. This made An Yilin feel a little shy even as a disciple of the temple. Yu Shan, brother can only help you here, and the rest is up to you to take the initiative. Seeing this scene, Lu Qingqin suddenly felt emotional. Regarding the major events in Yu Shan's life, he can be said to have broken his heart. Boy, take me away, the previous grievances will be wiped out, and I will do my best to help you in the next trip to the secret realm. Just when Lu Qingqin was about to leave, a harsh voice came. It was Li Yi who spoke. At this moment, he was standing in the distance and shouting at Lu Qingqin. It can be seen from Li Yi's fleshy face that he is not in a calm mood now. As for why they asked Lu Qingqin for help, of course it was because the other disciples of the Beast Master sect didn't have the ability to fly. Seeing Li Yi's serious expression, Lu Qingqin smiled and said to him, Your idea is very good, but I think this land is very suitable for you. Just kidding, if this silly ex still wants to take him away, could it be that his brain is broken? Lu Qingqin complained crazily in his heart, he felt that the heads of people in profound sky region were not normal. Under Li Yi's venomous eyes, Lu Qingqin spread his wings and took Yushan and An Yilin into the air in an instant. As for the other people who were still on the top of the mountain, Lu Qingqin didn't intend to take care of them. After all, he is not the Virgin Mary. After taking off, Lu Qingqin carefully observed the four directions where the ruins of the secret realm were located. After contemplating for a while, Lu Qingqin decided to go to the easternmost part of the secret realm. The huge dragon wings flapped behind them, and the three of Lu Qingqin turned into a golden light and shadow, and flew towards the huge palace. Miss En, do you know anything about the secret realm this time? During the flight, Lu Qingqin asked curiously. I don't understand. Hearing Lu Qingqin's words, and Yilin said without thinking. Did your temple send you here without knowing anything about this secret realm? Regarding her reaction, Lu Qingqin was not very surprised, after all, he had cheated her once just now. Hearing Lu Qingqin's words, and Yilin, who was still holding Yushan's palm, pouted and replied helplessly. This time the secret realm is different from the past. People in the major temples have no way to explore it in advance. Oh, since there is no way to explore in advance, why dare to let warriors in the spiritual realm come in, aren't you afraid that the whole army will be wiped out? Lu Qingqin asked curiously, because what he heard before was somewhat different from what An Yilin said. This is related to some secrets of the temple. An Yilin seemed a little angry and didn't really want to share information about this secret realm with Lu Qingqin. Seeing that she didn't really want to answer his question, Lu Qingqin didn't ask any more. And Yilin was in a complicated mood at the moment. 
Although Lu Qingchen's actions just now were a bit of an advantage, she was not very disgusted. Just because Lu Qingchen heard Yu Shan's words, he agreed to take her away with him. It can be seen that these two are both affectionate and righteous people. But thinking of the smirk on Lu Qingchen's face just now, and Yilin was a little speechless. Actually, it's not a big secret. People in the temple basically know it. After a few seconds of silence, and Yilin suddenly spoke. This trip to the secret realm was speculated by the Palace of Heavenly Secrets. According to them, this exploration of the secret realm is extremely important to every force in China. Quote, in addition to the three famous schools, there is even an opportunity in the secret realm to change the structure of the temple. Let the pattern of the temple change. The pupils of Lu Qingchen and Yu Shan shrank instantly, and An Yilin's words shocked them. You must know that as the top power in Wagwo, every temple has saints sitting in it. This is also the biggest difference between the three famous schools and the temple. Among the people Lu Qingchen has come into contact with so far, only two seniors, Tian Lao and Sheng Lao, have barely stepped into the threshold of the Holy Realm. But the two seniors can't be regarded as real saint-level powerhouses, because they don't have the cultivation techniques of the Holy Level. As for the several deans of the college, they are basically in the realm of the Emperor, and have not set foot in the Holy Realm. At least it seems so on the surface. As for whether they have hidden strength, Lu Qingchen is not sure. The chance she was talking about couldn't be the corpse of a divine beast, Lu Qingchen suddenly realized. But logically speaking, even if someone finds the corpse of the divine beast, they won't be able to move it away. Moreover, the physical bodies of these divine beasts are extremely powerful, and ordinary weapons cannot harm them at all. If there is no system father, I can only stare at the treasure like everyone else. That should be another chance. Just when Lu Qingchen was thinking seriously, the huge palace in the distance came into his eyes. Could it be that the chance is in these four relic palaces? Thinking of this, Lu Qingchen's eyes lit up. By the way, Miss En, if what you said, there is a chance in the secret realm that can even change the layout of the temple. So why did only people from the three great temples come in this time? Quote, as far as I know, there shouldn't be only three holy halls in Wabwo. As if thinking of something, Lu Qingchen suddenly said to An Yilin. It is reasonable to say that this is the case, but the Temple of Heaven's Mystery did not know what it said to the major halls. So this time only people from our three major temples came in, and there was no movement in the other temples. Quote. An Yilin patiently explained Lu Qingchen's question. So that's the case, I see, thank you miss and for clarifying the confusion. It should. The two were chatting, and the huge beam of light in front gradually came into the eyes of the three of them. Miss En, hurry up, Lu Qingchen said, and the flying speed increased instantly. The sudden increase in speed made An Yilin almost fall off, and she was so frightened that she quickly grabbed Yu Shan's big hand. The crimson beam of light was getting closer and closer, and after a few minutes, Lu Qingchen and the three finally arrived at the huge palace. There were already many people in front of this slightly quaint palace, Lu Qingchen found an inconspicuous place and landed slowly. Hey, let go, and Yilin suddenly spoke up. Quote dot dot dot, ha, huh, oh. Hearing her voice, Yu Shan almost didn't react. Under An Yilin's slightly annoyed gaze, Yu Shan reluctantly let go of her little hand. Lu Qingchen happened to see this scene in his eyes. At this moment, in front of this huge black palace, many warriors in the spiritual realm have already gathered. The most precious thing in this secret realm is likely to be hidden in this black palace. In front of the palace, a thin young man said with a smile on his face. What, the most precious thing in the secret realm is inside? Many people spoke out in shock, with a little doubt in their tone. I heard from our dean that this secret realm probably has the inheritance of a strong man in the holy realm. A student from Wabwo said excitedly. Then isn't there a saint's treasure in this palace? Another young man in his twenties speculated. But I saw palaces appearing in the other three directions, what's going on? This is not easy. The four palaces represent the inheritance of four saints. This is a unique opportunity. Many people shouted excitedly, as if they would be the next saint. The three of Lu Qingchen stood in an inconspicuous place, and they were observing this huge palace at the moment. The whole body of the palace is fiery red, and the red glazed tiles on the roof of the palace shone attractively under the sunlight. 
It seems to symbolize the dignity of the owner of this palace. But the strange thing is that this palace does not have a gate. For a while, many martial artists in front of the palace started talking. Liu Qingqin sat down cross-legged and began to recover the soul power that was consumed just now. Flying for such a long time, and maintaining an extremely fast speed, is not a small consumption even for him. Seeing this, Yu Shan and Anyilin also sat down cross-legged, and waited quietly while recovering their soul power. A quarter of an hour later, Liu Qingqin slowly opened his eyes, and he had fully recovered. Yu Shan, what happened to your injury? Seeing Yu Shan's torn clothes and many wounds, Liu Qingqin asked with a gloomy expression. Seeing Liu Qingqin asking about himself, Yu Shan opened his eyes and began to explain. After entering the secret realm from the entrance, I was teleported to a cave, and then I met Yao Chengwu. Just a little bit, I was able to deal with him, but I met someone from the Thunder Temple. People from Thunder Temple, Liu Qingqin frowned, he thought of what Long Feng said to them before. Yes, he blocked my attack on Yao Chengwu, and then I fought him. In the end, the two of them teamed up to hunt me down, and I almost died there. Quote, Fortunately, Sister Lan came to the rescue, otherwise I might really fall into the hands of those two beasts. Yu Shan patiently explained to Liu Qingqin, and at the end, he became angry. Lei Hang, right, and that Yao Chengwu. After listening to what Yu Shan said, Liu Qingqin's face was gloomy, as if dripping water. He didn't expect that Yu Shan would encounter such danger and almost fall. Fortunately, An Yilin showed up in time. When I meet those two beasts again, I will definitely get rid of them. Liu Qingqin said coldly, the killing intent towards these two people was extremely strong in his heart. Brother Chen, if I meet them again, I want to kill Yao Chengwu with my own hands. Yu Shan suddenly said that he could never forget Yao Chengwu's ugly face. Okay. I will kill the beast in Thunder Temple. Liu Qingqin spoke lightly, as if killing Lei Heng was as simple as killing a chicken. When An Yilin heard the conversation between the two, she couldn't help feeling a little speechless. Who are these two? Even she is not sure of winning against Lei Heng. Miss En, thank you. Liu Qingqin turned around suddenly, and spoke to An Yilin with an extremely sincere tone. Ah, no need. Seeing Liu Qingqin turned his head and looked at her seriously, and Yilin waved her hands again and again. Ding, Liu Qingqin handed her a storage ring. Why, pay me, no need, didn't you save me just now? Regarding Liu Qingqin's behavior, and Yilin quickly waved her hand and refused, she was not that kind of person. It's not a reward, it's a kindness. After all, I am a good brother like Yushan. Liu Qingqin looked at Yu Shan who was covered in wounds, and said to An Yilin seriously. I can't take your things, after all, you saved me just now. Accept it, Sister Lan, and give Brother Chen a face. Just when An Yilin was about to return the storage ring, Yu Shan suddenly spoke. He knew that Liu Qingqin was helping him. Okay, then I accept it. Seeing that Yu Shan had said so, An Yilin didn't shirk anymore, and accepted Liu Qingqin's wish. It wasn't until An Yilin accepted Liu Qingqin's offer that the two continued to talk. Brother Chen, do you think there will really be a saint's treasure in this palace? Yu Shan asked curiously. I think there should be a great possibility of a saint's treasure appearing in the palace. But my intuition tells me that the things in these four palaces should not be the most precious things in this secret realm. Quote. After hearing Yu Shan's words, Liu Qingqin pondered for a moment and gave such an answer. At this moment, An Yilin was also listening carefully to the conversation between the two. She felt that Yu Shan and Liu Qingqin were quite interesting. Although both Liu Qingqin and Yu Shan only had the cultivation base of Lingwu realm, both of them were very confident in themselves, and they were both courageous. They even dared to attract the attention of the Thunder Temple disciples, and threatened to kill Lei Hang. Thinking of this, she suddenly became curious about what was in the storage ring that Liu Qingqin sent spiritual stones, elixir, or martial arts and combat skills. It can't be supernatural powers. Although An Yilin didn't lack these things, she couldn't hold back her curiosity. Humans are such animals who always maintain a strong curiosity about the unknown. After thinking wildly, An Yilin still decided to open it and have a look. With a thought, An Yilin began to investigate the storage ring that Liu Qingqin sent. A ball-sized fruit lay quietly in the storage ring, emitting a very attractive red light. 
As soon as Anyilin saw the fruit, her thoughts retreated instantly. Could it be that my eyes are dazzled? Anyilin touched her forehead, thinking she was wrong. Taking a deep breath, Anyilin observed again. The storage ring is still the same red fruit. The holy blood Tongtian fruit, is it really the holy blood Tongtian fruit? And Yilin's eyes widened, her body trembling uncontrollably. Who the hell is this Lu Qingchen? He even sent out the holy blood Tongtian fruit. And he didn't even blink his eyes when sending out the holy blood Tongtian fruit. Could it be that he is the reincarnation of a saint? Impossible, not even a saint can be so indifferent. Could it be that he doesn't know this fruit? At this moment, and Yilin's heart was struggling violently. If Lu Qingchen really doesn't know this thing, then should he return this fruit to him? Or, no, I can't have it. In the end, greed was defeated in her heart, and Yilin panted heavily. As the disciple of the vice master of the ice and snow temple, and Yilin has her own pride. So she opened her eyes, ready to return the holy blood Tongtian fruit to Lu Qingchen, and explain to him the efficacy of this fruit. Just when she opened her eyes, and Yilin found two eyes staring at her. You, what are you doing? Seeing the serious gazes of the two, and Yilin was startled and asked aloud. In fact, this cannot be blamed on Lu Qingchen and Yu Shan. When the two were chatting just now, they found an Yilin's body trembling suddenly, and thought something happened to her. It's okay no problem. Seeing her puzzled eyes, Yu Shan quickly explained. Lu Qingchen, your kindness is too precious, I can't take it. And Yilin cast her eyes on Lu Qingchen, and said seriously. What? Seeing An Yilin say this suddenly, Lu Qingchen didn't react for a while. Do you know how precious that red fruit is? Seeing Lu Qingchen's reaction like this, An Yilin was even more sure that he didn't know the effect of this fruit. I know, what's the matter? Lu Qingchen scratched his head, not understanding why An Yilin suddenly mentioned this. You don't even know how precious this fruit is. Even a saint will be moved when he sees it. And Yilin stared seriously at Lu Qingchen's eyes, as if she wanted to see through his heart. But she didn't expect what Lu Qingchen said next completely shocked her. After listening to An Yilin's words, Lu Qingchen smiled lightly. Miss An, although this holy blood Tongtian fruit is precious, it is less than one ten thousandth of my brother's. Do you understand? Boom. When An Yilin, who was about to explain to Lu Qingchen just now, heard this sentence, her mind went blank. He knew, he actually knew the holy blood Tongtian fruit. This is a treasure that even a sage would be tempted by, so he just gave it to me. For a moment, An Yilin was stunned. Yu Shan, who heard the conversation between the two, was at a loss. When he saw An Yilin standing there motionless, he couldn't help asking. Brother Chen, what are you talking about? what kind of saint, and what is the holy blood Tongtian fruit? Hearing Yu Shan's words, Lu Qingchen couldn't help giving him a brainstorm. You didn't read the book last time, and you didn't even know about the holy blood Tongtian fruit. How can you marry a wife in the future? Hearing Yu Shan's words, Lu Qingchen became furious. This kid usually eats nothing but cultivation, but now he doesn't even know about the holy blood Tongtian fruit. Taking out the ancient book borrowed from the Kangjing Pavilion, Lu Qingchen threw it to Yu Shan like trash. On page 11, see for yourself. After receiving the ancient book thrown by Lu Qingchen, Yu Shan quickly turned to 11 pages. Holy blood Tongtian fruit, which gathers the good fortune of heaven and earth, swallows the essence of the sun and the moon, and is extremely harsh on the growth environment. Yu Shan scanned quickly and read a page in a few seconds. When he turned to the next page, he found that there were only a few words written on this page. Efficacy. Improve martial soul qualification. Improve the martial soul qualification. When seeing these words, Yu Shan's heart fluctuated violently just like in Yilin's. Brother Chen, you said that the fruit you gave Sister Lan was the holy blood Tongtian fruit. Yu Shan asked in a trembling voice. He didn't expect Lu Qingchen to give away such a precious thing in order to thank An Yilin for saving him. Okay, okay, why don't you act as if you have never seen the world, isn't it just a holy blood Tongtian fruit? What's so exciting? Lu Qingchen, who was carrying a lot of treasures, hated iron and steel, and scolded Yu Shan, how could he be so excited with just a small fruit? If you see the chalcedony in the center of the earth, or even the corpse of a divine beast, you will faint. As Lu Qingchen's brother, he couldn't act as if he had never seen the world. 
but he forgot that when he saw the corpse of the divine beast, his saliva almost flowed out. Here, this is yours. After scolding Yu Shan, Liu Qingqin flicked his hand and shot a red fruit towards Yu Shan. Seeing a red light shooting towards him, Yu Shan quickly stretched out his hands to catch the fruit. When he saw the red spiritual fruit in his hand, Yu Shan cast his eyes on Liu Qingqin and said in shock, Brother Chen, this, this can't be the holy blood Tongtian fruit. No, that's right, this is, the holy blood Tongtian fruit. A sentence that was as shocking as Yu Shan's came out of Anyilin's mouth. Hearing what Anyilin said, Yu Shan looked at her in shock. So the two stared at each other. Yu Yu. And Yilin's face turned red, and she couldn't say a complete sentence after holding back for a long time. Brother Chen, I love you so much. Only then did Yu Shan put away the holy blood Tongtian fruit, and was about to pounce on Lu Qingqin. Screw you. Seeing Yu Shan's burly body rushing towards him, Lu Qingqin slapped him, pushing him towards An Yilin's direction. An Yilin was a little speechless and took Yu Shan back to the original place. Of course Lu Qingqin knew the preciousness of the holy blood Tongtian fruit, but he could tell at a glance that Yu Shan was interested in an Yilin. That's why he gave away this precious spiritual fruit without hesitation. One is because an Yilin has saved Yu Shan's life, and the other is because she may become Yu Shan's partner in the future. In this world where martial arts are respected, as long as one has enough strength, one can naturally attract excellent opposite gender. While Lu Qingqin is getting stronger, he will of course do his best to help his good brother. Lu Qingqin, I will do my best to help you in the next trip to the secret realm. And Yilin said to Lu Qingqin that the holy blood Tongtian fruit was precious, and she didn't know how to thank the handsome young man in front of her. I can only do my best to help the two of them obtain the inheritance in the next trip to the secret realm. Hearing her serious words, Lu Qingqin nodded, his eyes bright. Then thank you Miss Anne. Hearing Lu Qingqin's words, and Yilin breathed a sigh of relief, he thought Lu Qingqin was going to refuse. Lu Qingqin is such a character, how can he not see the form in front of him? If you reject an Yilin now, wouldn't it be embarrassing for her? Besides, in case of any special circumstances, an Yilin can take care of Yushan. According to the current situation, an Yilin's strength is still very strong, after all, she is a genius disciple of the temple. Since it takes a long time to refine the holy blood Tongtian fruit after taking it, the two have not used it directly. As time goes by, more and more people come here. Everyone is anxiously waiting. Roar! A ferocious beast roar suddenly sounded, interrupting everyone who was waiting anxiously. Immediately afterwards, a fierce lion-like beast with a length of seven or eight meters appeared in everyone's field of vision. On the back of this lion-like ferocious beast, sat a young man with blonde hair. This young man looked extremely arrogant, and a golden robe fit him perfectly. Seeing that everyone was looking at him, the young man raised his head proudly. It seems to be expressing disdain for the group of warriors in front of them. He is Yang Lai, who is ranked 8th in the National Martial Arts Examination. Yes, I heard that this person was admitted to the Monster Academy in advance, and he is one of the strongest freshmen this year. Freshman, that's okay. How strong can a freshman be? It's not that strong, so I defeated a warrior at the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm with a cultivation base of the seventh level of the spiritual martial realm. Then he's here, we're still arguing. Forget it. As soon as the blonde youth arrived, the crowd began to commotion. Number eight in the National Martial Arts Examination. Or someone from the Monster Academy. Interesting. Hearing the discussion among the crowd, the corners of Lu Qingqin's mouth curled up slightly. Swish. At this moment, a young man in a black robe suddenly appeared. Seeing this black-clothed youth appear, Lu Yang Lai's face suddenly became a little dignified. Mo Yang, I didn't expect you to come too. He he, Lu Yang Lai, I didn't expect to meet you here. It seems that you are going to return empty-handed this time. Stop talking nonsense, do you think I'm afraid of you if you rank ahead of me in the martial arts exam? Hearing the words of the young man in black, Lu Yang Lai's expression turned ugly. The two seem to have had grudges before. Mo Yang is here too. He is the seventh in the National Martial Arts Examination. I heard that he was admitted in advance by the God of War Academy. Apart from Duan Hongtian, he is the strongest among the freshmen this year. Both of them are here, so do we still have a chance? 
It depends on the situation. Although they are very talented, there are so many of us. Quote dot 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 quote. With the appearance of Mo Yang, the crowd that had just calmed down began to boil again. Hearing their discussion, Yu Shan curled his lips in disdain. The Lu Qingqin in front of him is the number one in the National Martial Arts Examination, no matter what happens, it will not be the turn of the two of them. I have a little understanding of these two people. I heard that many warriors at the 8th or even ninth level of the spiritual martial realm are not their opponents. Seeing Yu Shan pouted, and Yilin said that she was reminding Yu Shan not to relax his vigilance. Lu Qingqin nodded seriously. What an Yilin said is indeed correct, some warriors are indeed talented. Not only are they invincible in the same realm, but they can also fight fiercely with other warriors across one or even several small realms. Lu Qingqin himself is such a person, and so is Yushan. Time is passing by quickly, I don't know how long it has passed. Boom, the red beam of light covering the huge palace suddenly trembled violently. Immediately afterwards, the red beam of light poured down and shot towards a certain place in the sky. The same goes for the other three directions. When the four beams of light converged in the sky, an incredible scene happened. A spatial crack suddenly appeared in the sky, and as time passed, that crack became bigger and bigger. Rumble, a huge black palace appeared out of thin air above the sky. The black palace in the sky looks dozens of times larger than the fiery red palace in front of Lu Qingqin. His whole body was as black as ink, with occasional flashes of blood-red light, and there was a burst of vast and simple atmosphere. After the appearance of this black palace, the space crack also disappeared. The four beams of light instantly turned into stairs, which seemed to be able to lead directly to this huge black palace. What is that? Is that the inheritance of the saint? Everyone's eyes were already attracted by the black palace in the sky, and they started guessing for a while. Brother Chen, could it be that this palace is? That's right, I think the inheritance in this black palace is the most precious thing in this secret realm. Liu Qingqin smiled slightly, it seemed that his guess was right. Hum. After the space crack disappeared, the black palace suddenly made a strange sound. A moment later, a huge red vortex appeared in front of the fiery red palace in front of Lu Qingqin and the others. Is this red vortex the entrance to this palace? It looks like it should be, otherwise how can I get in? Brothers, what are you waiting for? Go! After the red vortex appeared, many warriors present became excited. So they all rushed towards the vortex. What? Just as these martial artists rushed into the vortex, several people suddenly let out a scream. Liu Qingqin saw with his own eyes that their bodies exploded, and their stumps and flesh flew everywhere. But the strange thing is that several other people entered this vortex smoothly. What's going on? What the hell is going on? That's right, why did those few people die, but the others went in? What should we do now, go in or wait and see? Wait and see, I don't want to die so badly. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing the bloody limbs flying in front of the vortex, other people on the field stopped and did not dare to take a step forward. Brother Chen, what's going on, why did some people go in and some people died? Yu Shan asked solemnly, fortunately the three of them didn't rush in immediately. Otherwise, those stumps and flesh in the air might be them. This palace should be covered by a time formation. I have seen it in ancient books before. Generally speaking, this kind of time formation is aimed at the age of the warrior's bones. Quote. Liu Qingqin had also been staring at the vortex in front of him, and then analyzed with Yu Shan with a slightly dignified expression. Bone age. Brother Chen, are you saying that this palace has restrictions on the age of warriors? Hearing Liu Qingqin's words, Yu Shan's eyes lit up. If this is the case, then it is not a problem for him and Liu Qingqin. If that's the case, what age group can enter and what age group can't enter? I'm not very clear either. Aren't there still freshmen from the Monster Academy and the God of War Academy there? Let's wait until they explore the way first. Liu Qingqin pondered for a moment, then said aloud. Good idea. After listening to Liu Qingqin's words, Yu Shan's eyes lit up, and secretly said that he is indeed Brother Chen, he is too insidious, bah, so smart. And Yilin stared at Liu Qingqin speechlessly. He suddenly understood in his heart why he had such a precious holy medicine as the holy blood Tongtian fruit. It seems that I still have to learn from the, Brother Chen, in Yushenko. Hey, why, Mo Yang, 
the seventh in the martial arts test, was frightened by a small vortex. Just when everyone was hesitating, Uyang Lai suddenly spoke mockingly. HMPH, provoke me. Don't show this little trick. If you have the ability, go in and have a look. Hearing Uyang Lai mocking himself, Mo Yang didn't buy it. Hee <laughs> hee, since that's the case, then you should keep your eyes open. After saying this, Uyang Lai rushed straight into the vortex. Fine, the eyes of the other people present widened, and they didn't know what to say for a while. Just two seconds after Uyang Lai entered, Mo Yang also entered the vortex. Also safe to enter. I see. A martial artist at the eighth level of the spiritual martial realm seemed to understand something, and suddenly said loudly. Then, like the previous two, he rushed into the vortex. It is still safe to enter this vortex. Seeing this scene, Lu Qingchen smiled slightly, and his guess was right. Brother Chen, let's go. Seeing that the two from Monster Academy and God of War Academy were fine, Yu Shan shouted to Lu Qingchen. If I'm not mistaken, the age limit for entering this vortex should be 20 years old. If you are over 20 years old, you will be strangled by the formation. Mizen, are you okay? Liu Qingqin stroked his chin, and said to An Yulin with a smile. Yes, Miss Lan, how old are you? Hearing Liu Qingqin's words, Yu Shan hurriedly asked An Yulin. Come on, I'm fine. After glaring at the two of them, An Yulin spoke speechlessly. The two nodded to her, and the next moment, the three of them rushed towards the vortex together. After a whirl, the three of Lu Qingqin landed firmly on the ground. The three looked up and found that the gate of the palace was in front of them. Walk into, Lu Qingqin took the lead and stepped into the gate of the palace. Yu Shan and An Yilin hurriedly followed. After entering the gate, Lu Qingqin scanned around and found several buildings in front of him. Miss and Yu Shan, you two are together, we will act separately. Liu Qingqin pointed to the buildings ahead and said to the two of them. Okay, then we will meet at the gate in a while. And Yilin responded, and rushed towards a building together with Yu Shan. After they left, Liu Qingqin took a look, and after a while, he flew towards a majestic hall. Call out. Just when Liu Qingqin came to this hall, a sharp piercing sound suddenly sounded. A cold light came from behind him. Liu Qingqin sneered, and dodged slightly, avoiding the sharp blade light. The frozen cloud sword appeared in his hand in an instant, and Liu Qingqin slashed hard behind him. The next moment, a line of blood appeared from the forehead to the throat of the martial artist who attacked him. Plop! The young man was cut in half by a single sword. Call out! Call out! Call out! At this moment, several figures appeared around Liu Qingqin. Four figures surrounded Liu Qingqin. You for killing my brother. A young man in the lead said with an extremely cold expression. Liu Qingqin glanced at the four of them, one at the ninth level of Lingwu, and three at the eighth level of Lingwu. Lingwu Jushong is obviously this cold-faced young man. If you kill your brother, you deserve to die. What if you kill you? Hearing the young man's threat, Liu Qingqin mocked indifferently. You are looking for death, brothers. Seeing that Liu Qingqin was about to die and still dared to mock himself, the cruel young man twisted his face and yelled crazily. Broken cloud, Liu Qingqin was too lazy to talk nonsense with these warriors, and it was just a killer move. The extremely sharp sword glow directly triggered the general trend of the world, instantly tore apart the attacks of several people. Crack, the sharp sword light evolved into ice thorns one after another, piercing these young people with thousands of holes. Boom 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 boom. The four youths fell to the ground one after another, groaning in pain. We are students of Wagwo Wuhan University, you can't kill us, and you can't escape if we die. The severe pain distorted the expressions of several young people, and one of them even threatened Liu Qingqin directly. It's so sad, I don't know which Wuhan University sent you trash. Hearing his words, Liu Qingqin shook his head helplessly. Why is there such a big gap between Wuhan University and Wuhan University? Die, without the slightest hesitation, Liu Qingqin slashed at the four of them with a sharper sword light. PFF. As the sword light fell, the bodies of the four youths were divided into two. Blood spurted out like a spring, staining the ground red. Coming to the side of the four dead youths, Liu Qingqin began to collect the spoils. A few seconds later, Liu Qingqin had a few storage rings in his hands. With a thought, he began to explore the items in the five storage rings. 
I saw that there were several piles of spirit stones in the not so large space. Next to several piles of spirit stones, there are three large boxes. Lu Qingqin opened the box and found that all the three big boxes were filled with soul stones. In addition, there are a few weapons of unknown grade, which roughly seem to be below the Zun grade. As for some other sundries, Lu Qingqin didn't take them seriously. It's quite rich. These spirit stones and soul stones should all be obtained in the secret realm. Lu Qingqin smiled satisfied when he saw many spirit stones in the storage ring. Although the resources of these people cannot be compared with his, they are quite rich. Putting away the four storage rings, Lu Qingqin strode to the front of the hall. Looking up, there are three big characters engraved on the top of this huge palace. Resource Hall. Seeing these three words, Lu Qingqin's eyes lit up, and he walked into this majestic hall. When he came to the resource hall, Lu Qingqin found that there was nothing on the first floor of the resource hall. There are only a few shelves there, which are disorganized. The entrance to the second floor is blocked by this barrier. I tried it just now, and one person can't break through this barrier at all. Several people or even dozens of people must be able to open it together. Quote, this brother is right, I suggest waiting a little longer. Wait until all ten people are gathered together to break this barrier. As for the treasures inside, we each rely on our strengths. Quote, while Lu Qingqin was observing the situation on the first floor of the resource hall, several voices came. Following the direction of the sound, Lu Qingqin quickly walked forward. In front of the stairs leading to the second floor of the resource hall, there were seven or eight young people standing. These young people all have cultivation bases at the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm. At this moment, they are guarding each other against the others. When he saw that Lu Qingqin had only reached the eighth level of the spiritual martial realm, one of the thin young men's eyes lit up. Brother, look at this barrier, as long as you break it, you can go to the second floor. Lu Qingqin nodded slightly, but made no other movements. Seeing that Lu Qingqin was a little indifferent, the thin young man's eyes became a little dark. But he didn't show it, but continued to Lu Qingqin. Brother, the first layer of barrier was smashed by us together, look at the second layer of barrier. Yes, yes, we smashed the first layer of barriers together, and it's brother's turn to contribute to the second layer of barriers. That's right, that's right. Hearing the thin young man's words, several other people echoed. Oh, that's it. Lu Qingqin smiled lightly, and understood that everyone took him for a fool. Then I didn't have anything after I came in, it all went into your pockets, right? If I break the barrier of the second layer, then everything on the second layer will be mine. Quote. Seeing these people treat him like a persimmon, Lu Qingqin felt a little funny. You think beautifully. As soon as Lu Qingqin finished speaking, a young man shouted loudly, but the next moment, a voice interrupted his next words. Your brother is right. If you break this barrier by yourself, then all the things on the second floor will be given to you, and we will not take any money. Quote. When the thin young man heard what Lu Qingqin said, his eyes lit up. Hearing what he said, several other people also nodded in agreement. Faced with such a low-level trick, Lu Qingqin was speechless. Why do some people always want to die? Okay, then I'll try. Lu Qingqin smiled at them, showing his big white teeth. Seeing that this martial artist is so easy to deceive, everyone present smiled. The thin young man even showed a cruel smile. The few people present clearly did not want Lu Qingqin to get a share of the pie, and wanted him to retreat in spite of difficulties. After all, compared with them, Lu Qingqin's aura was only at the eighth level of the spiritual martial realm, so he was not qualified to compete with them. But if Lu Qingqin really blows away this barrier, it means that he has a treasure on him. Everyone will besiege him immediately, and then sweep away everything on the second floor. But what they don't know is that Lu Qingqin has the magical ability to conceal his own aura. Seeing him walking towards this barrier at this moment, everyone retreated to both sides to make way for him. Touching this barrier lightly, Lu Qingqin felt that breaking this barrier requires the strength of the earth martial realm. Drink. Lu Qingqin took a good posture and punched the barrier. Bang bang bang. The barrier made a violent collision sound, and after a flash of light, the barrier gradually disappeared. Come on, one of the youths shouted loudly, so everyone present rushed towards the second floor. 
They were afraid that if they were one step slower than others, the treasure would be taken away. As for what you promised Lu Qingqin just now, sorry, everyone forgot. Seeing these warriors rushing towards the second floor, Lu Qingqin didn't say anything. He shook his head helplessly, and followed these young people slowly. There are so many spirit stones. Get out, it's all mine. You all die for me. Just arrived at the second floor of the resource hall, Lu Qingqin heard the roar of several warriors. Looking around, the floor of the second floor was all piled up with spirit stones. There are many pills on the shelves. The eyes of the seven or eight youths who saw this scene were all red. They had never seen such a scene before. All of a sudden, seven or eight warriors started fighting. Liu Qingqin stood in the distance, watching them fight with interest. Wait, don't fight anymore, there will be a third floor in a while. After fighting for only two minutes, the thin young man shouted loudly. After hearing the voice, the rest of the people immediately stopped their movements and looked at the thin young man. Seeing that everyone stopped, the thin young man shouted loudly. Everyone, listen to me, let's distribute these spirit stones equally first, and then work together to bombard the third layer of the barrier. There are so many good things on the second floor, and there must be better things on the third floor. Something better. Hearing this, everyone's eyes lit up, and instead of going to fight, they bent down and began to pick up the spirit stones on the floor. As the last bottle of elixir was put into the storage ring by a young man, the second floor of the resource hall became empty. Now let's start distributing spirit stones and pills. The thin young man's voice sounded, and they began to distribute them evenly. Liu Qingqin silently watched them allocate resources. The distribution of these young people was very efficient, and the distribution was completed in less than a minute. Seeing that they were finally allotted, Liu Qingqin slowly walked out from the shadows. Stretching, Liu Qingqin lazily said, Everyone finished the distribution. Very good, hand in the spirit stone and the elixir. Chapter 111 A seemingly indifferent but extremely arrogant word slowly came out of Liu Qingqin's mouth. Echoed between the empty floors. After hearing Liu Qingqin's words, everyone who was still smiling just now was stunned for a moment. Obviously, he hasn't reacted from the joy of getting rich just now. Are you all deaf? Hand over all the spirit stones and pills. Seeing these seven or eight warriors standing there suddenly, Liu Qingqin spoke again. Isn't this the unlucky kid just now? What did he say? A martial artist with a flat nose and a sharp mouth asked around. It looks like he's trying to get a piece of the pie from us. You heard me wrong, he told us to hand over all the spirit stones and pills. No way, could it be that he thinks his life is too long? Ha 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 just as everyone was laughing, the thin young man spoke again. Hearing the words of this thin young man, the rest of the warriors were a little puzzled, not knowing what he meant. Since this little brother blasted away, then we should hand over everything to him. It's just. Just what? Someone couldn't help but speak out. It's just the third barrier of the resource hall. The thin young man said to Lu Qingqin with a sneer on his face. Ha 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 ha. Hearing this, the warriors laughed louder just now. Oh, you mean that I have to blow away the barrier of the third layer to give me the medicine pill and spirit stone? Seeing how wise this thin young man was, Lu Qingqin immediately became interested. Yes, I promise, as long as you blow away the barrier on the third floor, all of us present will give you the spirit stones and elixirs. Quote. The skinny young man thought that Lu Qingqin had taken the bait, so he patted his chest to reassure him. Yes, yes, he is right. As long as you blow away the barrier on the third layer, we will give you all these spirit stones and pills. Quote. The rest of the warriors also joined in. Oh, good proposal, but there is one thing you may not understand. Liu Qingqin looked at the thin young man and said quietly, as if the ghosts in hell were whispering, What don't you understand? The young man suddenly had an ominous premonition in his heart. PFF. A clear voice suddenly sounded in this empty floor, as if a sword had pierced flesh and blood. 
The thin young man who was still full of sarcasm just now was stunned. After a few seconds, he slowly lowered his head and looked at his chest. Hot blood slowly gushed out from his chest. If it wasn't for that thick golden arm that blocked his wound, the blood in his entire body might have drained instantly. The thin young man raised his head vigorously, stared at the owner of the golden arm in front of him, and said with difficulty. Who are you? Hey, isn't it too late to ask this question now? Lu Qingchen chuckled lightly. It's okay to tell you, my name is Lu Qingchen. Lu Qingchen. Dot you are the number one in this martial arts test. Bright red blood gulped out from the thin young man's mouth, and it seemed as if he had exhausted all his strength after saying these words. I regret it. As soon as the words fell, the young man opened his eyes wide and fell straight backwards. Unexpectedly, he could not die with peace in his eyes. If I knew this earlier, why bother? Lu Qingchen pulled out his sharp claws covered with golden scales and said softly. After seeing this scene, Several warriors around had expressions of horror on their faces. Swinging his thick, blood-stained arm, Lu Qingchen scanned his surroundings. I'll hand it over, I'll give it all to you. A young man suddenly yelled, and quickly threw the storage ring in his hand to Lu Qingchen. Me too, I'll hand it in too. Seeing the tragic death of this thin young man, the remaining few people handed over the storage rings in their hands one after another. But Lu Qingchen ignored them. Why bother, as a warrior, wouldn't it be good to die with dignity? Seeing these people scrambling to hand in the storage ring, Lu Qingchen said with emotion. I don't want to die, I haven't lived enough. A young man cried bitterly and knelt down in front of Lu Qingchen. Me too, I have an old man and a young man, please spare my life, I will give you everything. A young man with a waxy complexion and a sallow and thin face cried out. Hastily took out everything on his body. The scene just now really frightened them out of their wits, the martial artist at the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm was not an all-in-one enemy for the young man in front of him. We were blind this time and didn't recognize it. I hope you let us go, otherwise, if so many of us join forces, I don't think you can stop it. Quote. Just as the rest of the people begged for mercy, a slightly rough voice came. There was also a hint of threat in the words. I saw a burly young man walking out of the crowd, he didn't seem to be frightened by the scene just now. Yes, let us go this time, are you alone or definitely no match for so many of us? After hearing this sentence, the few people who were crying and begging Lu Qingchen for mercy just now changed their faces. They obviously regarded this burly young man as a savior. Seeing the reactions of these people around, Lu Qingchen suddenly laughed. It's just that his smile is full of coolness and sarcasm. In this case, let's all die. Lu Qingchen's eyes were cold, and he slowly raised his claws, which were as sharp as a sharp knife. Comma. Rumble. There was a huge sound, and people in the entire Wa Kingdom saw a huge dark palace slowly rising above the sky. Around this pitch black palace, there are four huge arenas, surrounding it like stars and moons. Heavenly Temple. The meeting room on the third floor of Tiansheng Pavilion. Inheritance has appeared. A senior from the academy said, with an extremely dignified expression. There really is a holy inheritance. Liu Chengfeng opened his mouth in surprise. It's been less than half a month since the secret realm was opened, and the inheritance has already appeared. It seems that these little guys are quite efficient. Dean Ku, who was sitting by the side, was all smiles. Don't be too happy, this may not be a good thing. Long Feng frowned, his mood was completely different from Liu Chengfeng's. You mean, there is something wrong with that palace and those four arenas? Seeing Long Fang's solemn expression, Han Meng asked aloud. That's right, the inheritance of the secret realm this time may be completely different from our previous guess. Before we guessed that no matter what happened in the secret realm, the outside world would not know. Long Feng frowned, and I specifically told Liu Qingchen and the others not to hold back in the secret realm. Very clever, hearing what Long Feng said. Everyone present suddenly thought of these three words. And this time, all the forces in Wagwo sent all geniuses. A certain dean of the Monster Academy even sent his own junior. If one of them falls, the consequences will be disastrous. And, one month later, the exit of the secret realm will open, and the people inside will immediately appear anywhere in Wagwo. Now, you understand, 
Long Feng's serious voice echoed in this conference room, and for a moment, everyone present tensed up. The smiles on Lu Chengfeng and Ku Chuan's faces froze instantly, as if they had just eaten a dead spider. Suddenly, the atmosphere in this meeting room became heavy. Not at all, the Lord of Tianyang Palace has spoken. No matter what happens in the secret realm, no force can pursue it after it comes out. Quote. When everyone was silent, Lu Chengfeng suddenly spoke. That's what you say, but how many people will abide by it, Chengfeng, your thinking is too simple. Hearing his words, a white-haired old man shook his head and said, Do you believe what the temple says? Lu Chengfeng, have you forgotten what happened more than ten years ago? How could I forget that it was because of that incident that the temple became what it is now? Lu Chengfeng responded, and a few seconds later, his eyes widened suddenly, and he said in a trembling voice, Could it be that the same thing will happen again this time? That's right, if there is really a sacred inheritance in the secret realm, then all the forces in Wagwo may have to reshuffle their cards again. The one-eyed old man sitting in the innermost part spoke these words heavily. All forces shuffle. Heaven, is it really so serious? Even if it is the inheritance of the holy realm, it is not so serious. What's more, all the temples have exercises of the holy realm, why do they do this? Quote, Han Meng couldn't believe it, she didn't expect the impact of this trip to the secret realm to be so strong. That's right, all the holy temples do have the skills of the holy realm, but which temple is willing to watch other forces grow stronger? There are only so many resources in Wagwo. Every time an additional force rises, they will get a part of the resources less. And, no matter what the situation is, the students entering the secret realm this time will be in an extremely dangerous situation. Seeing that Han Meng hadn't understood the seriousness of the matter, Long Feng opened his mouth to explain. All extremely dangerous. Hearing Long Feng's words, Han Meng and Nangong Qianyu suddenly felt a little scared in their hearts. Obviously worried about someone. Now we have only two options in the Heavenly Dao Holy Academy. At this moment, the one-armed old man in the innermost spoke. Or, our Heavenly Dao Holy Academy rose up in this turmoil and became the top power in one fell swoop. Or, go to decline and perish. Quote, if these little fellows really obtained the inheritance of the Holy Land, then no matter what, we must keep them in the inheritance. If they don't get the inheritance, then we have no choice but to grab it. The second floor of the resource hall. After a fierce battle, there were seven or eight more corpses in this pavilion. A lot of blood flowed from these corpses, staining the floor red. Liu Qingqin shook the blood on his sharp claws, his face was extremely cruel. Don't, don't kill me. The burly young man just now was lying on the floor, begging Lu Qingqin for mercy. Oh, excuse me, aren't you full of confidence just now? Lu Qingqin looked at his frightened face with some amusement. I was wrong, I was wrong. Please don't kill me, I'll give it to you, I'll give it all to you. Seeing Lu Qingqin walking towards him slowly, the burly young man roared crazily. He took out all his belongings and put them on the floor, begging Lu Qingqin to spare his life. If I let you go, how should their deaths be explained? They killed each other because of resources, no, they were killed by ferocious beasts. The young man was so frightened that his thoughts became confused for a while. It's too troublesome, I think you'd better go down and meet them. Without further nonsense, Lu Qingqin waved his sharp claws and sent the young man to heaven. For him, it was either not to kill one, or to kill them all. Slowly glancing around, Lu Qingqin found that no one else came. So he began to clean the battlefield in front of him. A minute later, Lu Qingqin had seven or eight storage rings in his hand. When he finished counting the harvest, even he was a little shocked. There are tens of thousands of spirit stones on the second floor of the resource hall, and all of them are of excellent quality, crystal clear and full. There are also many pills, small soul pills, big soul pills, Qingxin pills, detoxification pills. The combined value of these elixirs even exceeds these tens of thousands of spirit stones. As expected of the resource hall, there are so many spirit stones on the second floor, so what about the third floor? Liu Qingqin felt a little emotional, thinking that when he first entered the secret realm, he only had 10,000 soul stones on him. How long has it been since, not to mention the corpses of the beasts, the holy blood Tongtian fruit, 
the earth core chalcedony, and so many spirit stones and elixirs. It's simply getting rich overnight. A small flame was thrown from Lu Qingchen's hand. After the small flame landed on the ground, the corpses on the second floor immediately burst into flames. Destroy corpses and wipe out traces. Looking at the raging fire in front of him, Lu Qingchen suddenly became a little dazed. A few months ago, he was still an inexperienced senior high school student. But now, there are dozens of warriors who died in his hands. Martial arts are like this, if I don't kill them, I will be the one who dies. Lu Qingchen spoke softly, his face was calm and his eyebrows stretched. There is no distracting thought in the pair of eyes, as clear as if they can reflect the sun, moon, mountains and rivers. What he did was right, the road to martial arts is only killing. Slowly letting out a breath, Lu Qingchen didn't think about other things, but came to the passage on the third floor. It is still a barrier blocking the way to the third floor. Lu Qingchen touched it lightly, and found that the defense of this barrier was dozens of times stronger than that of the second layer just now. The storage ring in his hand flashed, and a dark red long knife appeared in Lu Qingchen's hand. Holding the dark red long knife tightly, Lu Qingchen slowly injected the soul power in his body into the fierce blade. Bang! With the continuous injection of soul power, the blade trembled slightly. A bewitching red light slowly emerged on the blade. Call out! Lu Qingchen raised his hand, and a dark red perfect arc shot towards the barrier. As the sword light fell, a ripple was set off on the barrier, and then it exploded with a bang. Lu Qingchen didn't stop at all, and rushed directly to the third floor of the resource hall. There are also several shelves on the third floor. But this time, instead of spirit stones and elixir, what was placed on the shelves were soul beads that shone with attractive colors. Looking at the soul beads shining with various lights in front of him, a glimmer of joy flashed in Lu Qingchen's eyes. After quietly looking around, Lu Qingchen found that there was no danger. A few seconds later, Lu Qingchen had cleared all the shelves in front of him. 1, 2, 15, 16, 20, 30. After putting all the soul beads into the storage ring, Lu Qingchen began to count the number of soul beads. It's incredible that there are 36 soul orbs. After counting the number of soul beads, Lu Qingchen suddenly became emotional. Before entering this palace, Lu Qingchen only had three soul beads on his body. One of them was obtained by killing ferocious beasts in the secret realm. In other words, before entering the secret realm, Lu Qingchen only had two soul orbs, and Yushan only had one. But after this trip to the secret realm, Lu Qingchen and the important people around him will no longer be short of such natural treasures as soul orbs. I really don't know who the owner of this palace is. He is so rich. It seems that I don't have to worry about soul orbs in the future. Lu Qingchen stroked his chin, then turned his gaze to the fourth floor passage. Since there are so many soul orbs on the third floor, then the fourth floor couldn't be soul seeds. Thinking of this, Lu Qingchen no longer hesitated and went directly to the passage leading to the fourth floor of the resource hall. Still a barrier blocked his way. Just like before, Lu Qingchen picked up the long knife and slashed out with a sharp red light. But the barrier only flickered slightly, and it was not broken. Is the fourth barrier so hard to break? Lu Qingchen's eyes froze, and one after another, the blade lights landed on the barrier. After wielding hundreds of knives one after another, most of Lu Qingchen's soul power was exhausted, but the barrier was still strong. Just when he was about to swing his knife, the two words on the surrounding walls caught his attention. On the wall of the third floor, there were two big characters, Tianzu, written impressively. Withdrawing the dark red long knife, Lu Qingchen walked slowly to the wall. What does Tianzu have to do with Tianzu domain? Looking at the two big characters on the wall, Lu Qingchen's mind flashed. From entering the secret realm until now, all the things that happened quickly flashed through his mind. Since this secret realm can only be entered by the spiritual martial realm, it is reasonable to say that obtaining the inheritance should not be very difficult. But just now my attack completely exceeded the power of the earth martial realm, and even almost reached the power of the heaven martial realm. Quote. Since this barrier cannot be broken by pure strength, then there is only. Lu Qingchen's eyes flickered, and the frozen cloud sword cut through his finger in an instant. A drop of slightly golden blood shot out towards the barrier. When the drop of blood hit the barrier, a magical scene happened. 
The slightly golden drop of blood disappeared in an instant as soon as it touched the barrier. A few seconds later, many complicated patterns emerged on the barrier. After an unknown amount of time, Lu Qingqin walked towards the fourth floor of the resource hall. After he walked in, he found that the barrier on the fourth floor suddenly appeared again, intact as before. However, Lu Qingqin didn't bother, but walked directly to the fourth floor. When Lu Qingqin stepped onto the attic, the scene in front of him made him a little ecstatic. Comma, Brother Lai, this place seems to have been searched. On the first floor of the resource hall, a young man in white light armor said to a blonde young man. Has it been searched already? The blonde youth pondered for a moment, you guys go upstairs and have a look. As the blonde youth's voice fell, the other four people around him began to go upstairs one after another. So there were only two people left on the first floor. Among them, the blonde young man named Brother Lai is Yang Lai from Monster Academy. The young man in white light armor and the other four were the warriors he subdued when he entered the palace. Yang Lai's luck is not very good. Although he entered the palace a few minutes earlier than Lu Qingqin and the others, he didn't gain much. The first hall he entered seemed to be where alchemy was located. But there are no pills inside, but many alchemy furnaces. Although there is no elixir, so many alchemy furnaces are also a huge wealth. But he was too happy. When he was excited to put these alchemy furnaces into his storage ring, a heart-wrenching scene happened. After being touched by his hand, all these pill furnaces turned into fly ash. In an instant, Wu Yang Lai's face seemed to turn green. Just as he was about to leave sadly, many warriors suddenly broke into this building. When these warriors saw that there was nothing in this hall, they thought it was all in Yang Lai's pocket. Thus, there was a fierce battle. After several warriors died, the remaining five raised their hands and surrendered. They said that during the next trip to the secret realm, they all obeyed Yang Lai's orders, which saved their lives. After the four warriors came to the second floor, they looked around and found nothing. Go to the third floor. After a while, Several people returned from the third floor to the first floor. Brother Lai, the first to third floors have been searched, but we found a barrier on the third floor. That barrier seems to be a passage from the third floor to the fourth floor. What? There is a barrier. Let's go, let's go there now. After hearing these people's words, Wu Yang Lai's eyes lit up, and he hurriedly led them to the third floor of the resource hall. Comma. Lu Qingqin had just arrived at the fourth floor of the resource hall when he was attracted by a dazzling light. The fourth floor of the resource hall is very empty, and there are not many shelves like the second and third floors. There is only one stone table quietly placed in the middle of the floor. On the stone table, a dazzling purple light emerged. Lu Qingqin took a deep breath and walked gently to the stone table. After observing for a while, Lu Qingqin confirmed that it was a soul seed. As the supreme treasure of heaven and earth, soul seeds are quite different from soul beads. In addition to the different functions, the appearance of soul seeds and soul beads is also somewhat different. No matter what kind of soul bead, the shape is a round bead, but the soul seed is different. As the most precious treasures in the world, soul seeds are each unique and have different shapes. For example, the burning god seed in Lu Qingqin's hands is like a divine bird full of flames. It's just a mini version and the soul seed in front of him was purple, like a miniature lion cub, with electric arcs shining all over his body. Lu Qingqin took out an exquisite jade box, and carefully put the purple soul seed into it. The only thing that makes Lu Qingqin regretful is that this purple soul seed is just an ordinary soul seed, not a god seed. Hey, I'm too greedy, how could the god seed appear in such a place? Lu Qingqin shook his head and said to himself with a wry smile. Even soul seeds are so precious, let alone God seeds. Besides, every soul seed in the world is unique, there can't be two of them that are the same. After scanning the surroundings, Lu Qingqin sat cross-legged on this stone table. Let's absorb and refine the Fenshin God seed right here. With a thought, a miniature fiery red divine bird appeared in Lu Qingqin's hand. It is the burning God seed. Different from the method of absorbing soul beads, soul seeds are directly swallowed and refined. Will this, be a bit hot? Lu Qingqin said with a twitch at the corner of his mouth when he saw this burning god seed that was blazing with flames. Forget it, never mind. Lu Qingqin closed his eyes, and directly put the Fenshin god seed into his mouth. 
Comma. At this moment, Uyang Lai and the five warriors around him have reached the third floor. It smells so strong of blood. It seems that there was a fierce battle on the third floor of the resource hall. Uyang Lai's nose twitched, and he sniffed the air vigorously. But there's no blood here, just a few empty shelves. A martial artist spoke, he did not find any traces of fighting on this floor. It's very simple, destroy the corpse, Uyang Lai explained. The warriors who survived in the end disposed of all the corpses here. Brother Lai, what should we do now? The young man in white light armor asked aloud. But Uyang Lai didn't answer his words, but slowly walked towards the barrier leading to the fourth floor. Follow me and break through this barrier. Yes. In the next second, Uyang Lai and the five warriors around him launched a fierce attack on the barrier. A series of fierce attacks hit the barrier, and in less than a minute, several people launched hundreds of attacks. But after these attacks hit the barrier, they were all resolved directly, and only caused a wave of waves. Seeing that ordinary attacks were ineffective, Uyang Lai took out a red Yanyu saber and signaled the surrounding people to back off. He held the handle of the crescent knife tightly with both hands, and a red light diffused from the blade of the crescent knife. Fire slash, Uyang Lai shouted loudly and the other five people only saw an extremely fierce flaming blade slamming towards the barrier. Tick-tock, after the sharp flaming blade touched the barrier, it fell into the sea like raindrops from the sky. There was a crisp, tick, sound. The crisp voice echoed on the third floor of the resource hall, and it lasted for a long time. PFF, just when everyone was silent, a warrior suddenly made a strange sound. The other four also had suppressed smiles on their faces. Brother Lai, Brother Lai, this barrier is too strange. The warrior who just made a sound quickly explained, lest he would offend Uyang Lai. It's really strange, even the attack of my martial arts realm was easily resolved. Hearing the warrior speak, Uyang Lai glanced at him, his face slightly gloomy. Then what should we do now, Brother Lai? Wait, just wait here. The smell of blood is so strong, this person must be nearby. Uyang Lai opened his mouth with a cruel smile on his face. And maybe, this person is on the fourth floor right now and hasn't left. Comma. At this moment, Lu Qingchen did not notice what was happening outside. A huge divine bird appeared behind him, its body was reddish golden, extremely sacred. Zhang Yang's wings cover the sky, and his pair of eyes are like a big sun. It was the three-legged golden crow with supreme martial soul. As soon as the three-legged golden crow appeared, the air on the entire fourth floor began to become distorted. As Lu Qingchen gradually refined the Fenchen God Seed, the bright groove on the three-legged golden crow kept flickering. After a while, this groove, which is twice the size of the ordinary soul groove, gradually dimmed. As time passed, this dark groove gradually emitted a crimson glow. Comma, Sister Lan, the barrier in front cannot be broken. Yu Shan looked at the barrier in front of him, shook his head and said to An Yilin beside him. Can't it be broken? An Yilin frowned, staring at the barrier in front of her with a solemn expression. Whoop, whoop, two sharp sword glows appeared and landed on the front barrier. There was still no disturbance. Why don't we leave first, and wait for Brother Chen to come and take a look? Seeing such a situation, Miyama spoke with some regret. But An Yilin was unmoved, but slowly approached the barrier. After two seconds, the barrier disappeared. Sister Lan, you, how did you do it? Yu Shan, who was about to leave just now, saw this scene and asked in shock. Go ahead and explain to you later. And Yilin smiled and walked into the passage with Yu Shan. There is still a stone table in the middle. Different from the resource hall, there are three scrolls of different colors on this stone table. Walking quickly towards the stone table, Yu Shan picked up one of the golden scrolls. Pure Yang Wuji Kung Fu, the top grade of the emperor, the practitioner must maintain the body of a child. After practicing this technique, the spiritual power of the practitioner will be twice as strong as before, and the breath will be longer. Note, this exercise can only be practiced by men, and it cannot be broken before the emperor realm, remember. It turned out to be a top grade imperial technique. There was a hint of joy in An Yilin's eyes. You must know that even the emperor level exercises in the temple are extremely precious, let alone the emperor level top grade exercises. It's a pity that women can't practice. After seeing the annotation, and Yilin felt a little regretful. 
you must know that most of the disciples in the ice and snow temple are women. Throwing this scroll to Yu Shan, and Yilin looked expectantly at the other two scrolls. Yu Shan was quietly waiting for an Yilin around. Because she broke through this barrier, the things inside should be disposed of by her. Just when he was in a daze, a scroll suddenly flew towards his face. Opening the scroll, Niyama grinned. It turned out to be a top-grade emperor-level exercise, it's great. When he saw the notes behind, his face suddenly darkened, and after a while, his face became a little strange. Why don't you give it to the master, he seems to be single. Thinking of this, Yu Shan hastily put away this scroll that recorded the imperial-level top-grade cultivation skills. He was similar to Lu Qingqin, and he was accepted as a disciple in advance by someone from the Heavenly Tao Holy Academy. As for who it was, of course it was Dean Ku who taught him the stick technique before. Although Ku Chuan seems to be an honest person, whoever can be the vice president of Tiandao Holy Academy is not a human being. After throwing the first scroll to Yu Shan, and Yilin immediately checked the other two scrolls. Thick soil seventh layer cudgel, an emperor level middle grade combat skill, for those who have cultivated to great success, the stick is as powerful as an abyss, extremely thick, fierce and domineering, the seven sticks fall, and the mountain jumps. Emperor-level middle-grade combat skills, and stick techniques. Seeing this, and Yilin couldn't help muttering, she suddenly thought that Yu Shan's weapon was a long stick. This kid is really lucky. And Yilin shook her head helplessly, then threw this scroll to Yu Shan. At this moment, Yu Shan hadn't reacted from the joy just now, when he saw another scroll flying towards him. Sister Lan, what are you doing? Why did you give it to me again? Yu Shan took the scroll and rubbed his head in doubt. There were only three scrolls on the stone table, and An Yilin had already given him two. He really didn't understand what An Yilin meant. Could it be? Hey. Dot hey hey hey. Seemingly thinking of something, Yu Shan suddenly smirked. Suddenly, Yu Shan's silly boy's laughter came to his ears, so An Yilin turned her head and gave him a strange look. What are you laughing at? No, no. Seeing An Yilin cast a strange look at him, Yu Shan quickly quibbled. It's just that when he saw the second scroll, his whole body couldn't help but began to tremble. It turned out to be a mid level imperial stick technique. Seeing the words on the scroll, Yu Shan couldn't help but widen his eyes. You must know that combat skills about stick techniques are very rare. Most of the combat skills are related to swords, and some are combat skills such as fists and palms. Even Yu Shan's own stick technique is only a top rank combat skill at the Zun level, not even at the King level. Moreover, his own high grade stick technique is already the highest level stick technique in Tiandao Holy Academy, and even his own teacher practiced this set of stick technique. But even so, Ku Chuan's strength is still at the forefront of the many martial emperors in China, so what if there is a more advanced staff method? At this moment, Yu Shan, who saw the emperor-level middle-grade stick combat skills, felt uncontrollably ecstatic anymore. Sister Lan, I love you so much. Yu Shan yelled loudly, wishing he could pounce on An Yilin right now. Fortunately, he controlled himself, but he couldn't hide the excitement in his heart. Opening this scroll, Yu Shan sat cross-legged on the floor, and began to comprehend this extremely precious emperor-level middle-grade stick technique. Although the first two scrolls have no effect on An Yilin herself. But seeing Yu Shan so happy, the corners of her mouth couldn't help but curl up slightly. Thinking of this, An Yilin looked at the third scroll in her hand with a smile. Ice Jade Lingguang Finger, an emperor level middle grade combat skill, is cultivated with ice attribute spiritual power. Those who have cultivated it to the top will turn into ice sculptures wherever they finger. Another mid tier battle skill at the imperial level. And it's an ice attribute fingering. And Yilin stared blankly at the scroll in her hand, she didn't expect that there would be a combat skill suitable for her here. You must know that fingering combat skills are also very rare, even in the ice and snow temple, there are not many fingering skills. Although An Yilin didn't practice fingering before, it doesn't matter, as long as she has the sole power of ice attribute. Although it is said that there are holy level exercises in the temple, holy level combat skills are another matter. As far as An Yilin knows so far, the emperor level combat skills are considered the top combat skills among all the forces in Wagwo. As for holy level combat skills, An Yilin had never seen them before. When An Yilin, 
who had obtained the mid-level imperial level combat skills, was about to share the joy of the moment with Yushan, she found that he was already sitting on the ground silently comprehending the combat skills he had just acquired. Are the people from the three famous schools working so hard? And Yilin said softly, then stopped talking, and began to sit cross-legged like Yushan. Began to comprehend the ice attribute fingering of this set of imperial middle grade. Comma. Time was passing by quickly, and after an unknown amount of time, Lu Qingqin's body suddenly burst. An extremely hot breath swept away, and even the air around Lu Qingqin began to twist. When he slowly opened his eyes, two huge pillars of flame burst out from his eyes. After the huge beam of flame shot towards the surrounding walls, it left a dark mark. At this moment, Lu Qingqin's eyes are constantly changing, sometimes turning golden, sometimes turning red. That's right, after three full days, Lu Qingqin finally absorbed and refined the burning god seed. After thoroughly refining this divine seed, Lu Qingqin obtained two abilities. The first is of course a huge increase in one's own fire attribute. After absorbing the Fenshin god seed, the power of the fire attribute attack released by Lu Qingqin was twice as powerful as before. In other words, refining the Fenshin god seed increased Lu Qingqin's fire attribute attack by a full 200%. And it is a permanent promotion, not fixed at his current level. That is to say, even when Lu Qingqin breaks through to the Earth Martial, Heavenly Martial, and Venerable Martial Realm, the attack power of the fire attribute will still double. This ability is too terrifying. Even Lu Qingqin couldn't help but smacked his lips, feeling the perversion of the Fenshin God. The other ability has something to do with physical fitness. After refining the Fenshin God Seed, Lu Qingqin felt a huge change in his eyes. The two huge pillars of flame light that were emitted just now are one of Lu Qingqin's eye abilities. Sitting cross-legged on a stone table, he silently felt the changes brought about by the burning god seed. As his thoughts came to the Sea of Spirit, Lu Qingqin found that there was a pair of huge pupils in his Sea of Spirit. A faint crimson halo bloomed from the pair of pupils, hanging high in the sky like a big sun. This is a magical dividing line. Lu Qingqin could clearly feel a strange and powerful force in his body. The source of this power lies in the pair of huge crimson pupils. And after his sea of spirit absorbed the crimson halo emitted by the pair of pupils, Lu Qingqin felt that his ability had improved a little. The two huge flaming beams just now were just one of the abilities he acquired, and Lu Qingqin named them Golden Crow Rainbow Light. Without any bells and whistles, the Golden Crow Rainbow Light is an attacking supernatural power. In addition, Lu Qingqin also obtained another supernatural power, but its power has not been verified for the time being. I don't know how much time has passed. Lu Qingqin's consciousness retreated from the Sea of Spirits, looking at the enclosed space around him, he felt a little emotional. On the fourth floor of the resource hall, he didn't know how long it took to refine the Fenshin God Seed. Now we have to go to the gate to join Yushan and the others. Lu Qingqin jumped off the stone table and quickly walked towards the previous barrier. Comma. Brother Lai, why don't we go, we've been waiting for three days and haven't seen a single person. On the third floor of the resource hall, a young man said aggrievedly to Yang Lai. Since they heard what Yang Lai said, they have been waiting here for three full days. It's a pity that Mao didn't wait for these three days, let alone saw a figure. What's the rush, will you die if you wait and see? Upon hearing the complaints from several young people, Yang Lai became furious. From entering this palace to now, it's fine if there is no gain, and I still have to listen to the complaints of several of my subordinates. Yang Lai actually wanted to leave the next day. But it suddenly occurred to me that I have been waiting here for a day, and if I go to other places, there will definitely be nothing left. It's better to sit here and wait for a rabbit. One is to wait for the people on the fourth floor to come out, and the other is to see if other warriors have entered this resource hall. But unfortunately, after waiting for three days in a row, the six of them didn't even get a single fly. Hearing Yang Lai's scolding, the warrior could only lower his head in a grieved manner and continued to wait. Just when a few people were upset, there was a sound of tapping. Brother Lai, someone is here. The eyes of the young man in white light armor lit up, and he excitedly said to Yang Lai who was resting with his eyes closed. What? Someone is here. Hearing the words of this white light armored youth, Yang Lai was shocked, opened his eyes and stood up. The sound of, stepping, 
continued, and Lu Qingqin broke through the barrier. At this moment, he went downstairs with brisk steps, ready to meet Yu Shan and An Yilin. Just when he came to the third floor, the scene in front of him shocked him a lot. The six young men suddenly blocked the road ahead, all staring at him with wide eyes. But what is a little funny is that these six young people have thick dark circles on their eyes. Among them, the blonde-haired young man had particularly serious dark circles. From a distance, he looked like a giant panda. A giant panda with golden hair. But the giant panda looked at Lu Qingqin with anger in his eyes. Hey, hello, who are you waiting for? Because Lu Qingqin had just finished refining the Fenshan God Seed, he was in a good mood, so he greeted these people. You, hearing Lu Qingqin's polite greeting, the anger in Yu Yang Lai's eyes was about to burst out. Stop talking nonsense, brother Lai and we have been waiting for you here for three full days, and if we are sensible, we will hand over the treasure we got. Yes, hand over all the treasures. Otherwise, hum. Before Wu Yang Lai had time to speak, the warriors around him began to yell and curse. Noisy. Hearing the clamor of those two warriors, Lu Qingqin snorted coldly, and two fiery beams of light shot at them. Boom. Two terrifying crimson beams of light, like startling arrows, tore through the air, and ruthlessly shot at the two martial artists at the ninth level of the spiritual martial realm who spoke just now. Zizi. The blood splashed out, and was burned into a red mist before it hit the ground. The chests of the two young warriors were pierced, and a fist-sized blood hole appeared in the eyes of the others. Hiss. Apart from Uyang Lai, the other two warriors made a sound of panic. They didn't expect that the seemingly harmless young man in front of him would be so terrifying when he shot. You. The two young men stared at the two bloody holes in their chests slowly. After a while, they raised their heads and looked at Lu Qingqin with deep fear and unwillingness in their eyes. Plop, the bodies of the two youths fell heavily to the ground. You killed them. Wu Yang Lai opened his mouth tremblingly, a little unable to believe the scene in front of him. He was originally a genius of the Monster Academy and had contact with all kinds of people. But this was the first time he had seen someone like Lu Qingqin who would kill him at the slightest disagreement. Very well, you managed to piss me off. Wu Yang Lai stared at Lu Qingqin's delicate face, and said coldly. Irritated you. So what? Lu Qingqin looked at Wu Yang Lai with some contempt, and he didn't have a good impression of these people. Originally, he didn't intend to take action against these people, but who knew that their words were threats. Holding a crimson crescent moon knife tightly, a crimson light diffused from the blade of the crimson crescent moon knife. Fire slash. Wu Yang Lai shouted loudly, and an extremely fierce flaming blade instantly slashed towards Lu Qingqin. Different from the previous one, this time Wu Yang Lai's attack can be described as extremely ferocious, this fiery red sword light is twice as big as before. Hee <laughs> hee, brother Lai's knife is powerful enough to kill a strong man in the earth martial realm. It seems that this kid is going to be unlucky. The remaining two young people whispered around, as if they thought they could see through Lu Qingqin's tragic end. Facing Wu Yang Lai's angry and terrifying attack, Lu Qingqin narrowed his eyes slightly and then punched out. Boom! The crimson sword light collided with Lu Qingqin's dragon fist, making a huge explosion. After the light dispersed, Lu Qingqin's body slowly emerged, appearing in the sight of Wu Yang Lai and the others. How is it possible? He is, all right. The two youths who were full of confidence just now saw this scene, their eyes were as wide as copper bells, and their faces were full of disbelief. Lu Qingqin shook his arms, and said to several people with a smile on his face. Since you have finished attacking, it's my turn. As soon as the words fell, Lu Qingqin's pupils glowed red. A coffin that seemed to be cast from flames slowly enveloped Yu Yang Lai and the others. Sacred eyes of burning heaven, Yan Yang. Funeral. As soon as this coffin made of flames appeared, the surrounding air began to twist violently. At this moment, before the three of Wu Yang Lai could react, they were already enveloped by this huge flame coffin. Brother Lai, what the hell is this? The young man in white light armor asked suspiciously. He found that the temperature in the place where he was was slowly becoming hotter. This is a supernatural power. I really didn't expect a student in the spiritual martial arts realm to be able to release supernatural powers. Wu Yang Lai had already noticed the changes in his surroundings at this moment, and he spoke heavily. Supernatural power. 
The other two youths couldn't help but turn pale with shock when they heard this sentence. Of course they know the power of supernatural powers. The biggest difference between the earth martial realm and the spirit martial realm is whether one can release supernatural powers. Generally speaking, warriors in the spiritual realm can at most use combat skills, and supernatural powers can only be obtained by absorbing soul orbs. But Lu Qingqin is obviously not an ordinary person. As the owner of the supreme martial soul, his talent is definitely evildoer, and he has already awakened several supernatural powers while still in the spirit martial realm. This is not something ordinary people can compare. As the crimson light in Lu Qingqin's eyes flickered, the huge coffin gradually became smaller. For a while, the huge pressure and temperature made it difficult for Yang Lai and the others to bear. When the coffin is compressed to a certain size, it will no longer change. Seeing this, Wu Yang Lai and the others couldn't help but let out a long sigh. Fortunately, this supernatural power is not lethal. Boom, the young man in white light armor hadn't finished speaking when a huge explosion sounded in the air. A huge mushroom cloud rose slowly. When the clouds cleared, there were only two people left on the third floor of the resource hall. Apart from Wu Yang Lai, the other two fighters at the ninth level of the spirit martial arts had turned into a pile of ashes, drifting with the clouds. Ding! The two storage rings fell from the air to the ground with a crisp sound. As for Wu Yang Lai who was still standing, his body was also rolled up at this moment, not a single piece of his body was intact. Ahem, who are you, why haven't I heard of someone like you? Wu Yang Lai coughed, and spoke with a weak breath. If he hadn't stepped into the earth martial realm before, and happened to have cultivated defensive supernatural powers. It is estimated that at this moment, it has turned into a pile of ashes like the two young people just now. Ah, hearing Wu Yang Lai speak, Lu Qingqin couldn't help but sneered, and immediately said to him expressionlessly. Haven't your monster academy always been so defiant? And when I first came out, none of you asked me, but asked me to hand over the resources when I came up. Quote, since you want to kill people and seize treasures, you must be prepared to be killed, right? Liu Qingqin's majestic voice with a hint of sarcasm echoed on the empty floor. He stood on top of Yang Lai, looking down at the proud son of the Monster Academy. A pair of red pupils showed a hint of indifference. He has no sympathy for such a person. Okay, you should be on your way too. Liu Qingqin sighed softly, and an ice blue longsword emerged out of thin air. Impossible. Even if you can release supernatural powers, so what, you are only at the spiritual realm, but I. Hearing what Lu Qingqin said, Wu Yang Lai said with some disdain. He has already experienced Lu Qingqin's supernatural powers. Although it caused him a lot of trouble, what's next? Next, what means does this martial artist in the spirit martial state have to cause harm to himself? After all, I am a strong person in the earth martial realm, far better than the spirit martial realm. Call out, a sharp ice blue sword light streaked across the void, and Wu Yang Lai's voice stopped abruptly. All right, all right, I know you are at the earth martial realm, but so what? Anyway, it's not the first earth martial realm to die in my hands. Quote. Liu Qingqin shook his head, and put away the frozen cloud sword in his hand. Wu Yang Lai clutched the wound on his neck, blood slowly flowed from between his fingers. You. His pupils had shrunk to the size of a pinhole at this moment, and he raised his head with difficulty to look at Lu Qingqin who was standing above him. Boom, two seconds later, Wu Yang Lai threw his head up and fell backwards, his body fell heavily on the ground of the third floor. Until the end of his life, he did not understand why a martial artist in the spiritual realm would have such a powerful combat power. The first. Liu Qingqin heaved a long sigh, this was the first student he killed who was also a student from the three famous schools. Two more, no, three. Liu Qingqin murmured to the front, a trace of killing intent flashed in his crimson pupils. After a few steps, he came to the side of Wu Yang Lai's body. After a while of groping, Liu Qingqin had five more storage rings in his hand. A crimson flame appeared, and Liu Qingqin threw it out casually. Turning around and taking a look at the huge fire behind him, Liu Qingqin then walked downstairs. He was anxious to join Yu Shan and the two. Until reaching the gate of the palace, Liu Qingqin did not see Yu Shan and An Yilin. Are they in danger? Liu Qingqin frowned slightly, feeling a little worried. Logically speaking, they should be waiting here for him right now, 
After all, it took at least three days to refine the Fenshin God Seed. With the strength of Anyilin and Yushan, they should not be in danger. If so, where did they go? Lu Qingqin stroked his chin lightly and said to himself, Comma, another stone room. Yu Shan and Anyilin were sitting cross-legged on the floor at the moment, silently comprehending the combat skills they had just acquired. Originally, Yu Shan just planned to understand the difference between the emperor-level combat skills and other combat skills, and then he was going to go directly to join Lu Qingqin. But after he realized it, he discovered the profoundness of the emperor's combat skills, and even forgot the time for a while. By the time I woke up from the realization, three or four days had passed. So he got up quickly, ready to go to the gate of the palace with Anyilin to meet Lu Qingqin. When he saw that Anyilin was still immersed in cultivation, he couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. Should I wake up Sister Lan? Hey, why don't you wait a little longer, at worst, let Brother Chen wait a few more hours. Yu Shan gritted his teeth and made this decision. Thinking of this, he couldn't help coming to Anyilin's side, and began to observe carefully. At this moment, a burst of blue mist continuously emerged from Anyilin's body. But these fogs are not illusory, but really exist. As the icy blue mist floated slowly, Yushan suddenly felt a chill. Three hours later, Yushan was already shivering, and his body was shaking from the cold. Just when Yushan was about to wake Anyilin up, a great force of heaven and earth slowly rose from Anyilin's body. Call out! The next moment, and Yilin's eyes opened, and a sharp finger shot towards the wall in front of her. Yu Shan, who was standing in front of her on the left, was taken aback, and hurriedly stepped back a few steps. The icy blue finger light fell hard on the surrounding walls, and after a few seconds, the walls were covered with a layer of ice crystals. Sister Lan, have you realized the general trend of the world? Looking at the scene in front of him, Yu Shan asked in surprise. Well, I had a little bit of insight before, but I didn't expect that this imperial level middle grade combat skill would directly allow me to comprehend it successfully. Hearing Yu Shan's voice, and Yilin began to explain. As expected of a battle skill of the emperor's level, the profound meaning contained in it is extremely profound, and it can even allow warriors to directly understand the general trend of the world. Reminiscing that she had successfully comprehended the general trend of the world after practicing for three days, and Yilin couldn't help feeling a little emotional. Let's go, let's meet Lu Qingqin now. Seeing Yu Shan's anxious look, and Yilin chuckled lightly, and spoke to him. Hum, then let's go, I think brother Chen must be waiting impatiently. Hearing and Yilin's words, Yu Shan nodded repeatedly, and then the two left this place together. Lu Qingqin, who had been waiting for several hours, saw that the two of them hadn't arrived yet, so he began to realize the strangeness of Fen Tian Sheng Tong. Fen Tian Sheng Tong didn't only have the two magical powers released by Lu Qingqin just now. As an ability obtained after refining the Fenshin God Seed, the Fenshin Sheng Tong is not that simple. Compared with supernatural powers, Fenshin Sheng Tong is more like a special physique. Lu Qingqin had seen it in ancient books before. In this vast world, there are not only strange martial souls, but also many strange physiques of Lu Li. For example, some special constitutions are born in the Tianwu state, and some special constitutions have a huge strength of 100,000 caddies in the quenching state. What's more, they were born with an extremely terrifying speed of cultivation, and they became kings after only one year of cultivation. Of course, these are all recorded in ancient books, as to whether it is true, Lu Qingqin does not know. But judging from the current situation, the records in these ancient books may not all be false. Taking Fen Tian Sheng Tong as an example, Lu Qingqin felt that its power did not stop there. On the contrary, the power of Fen Tian Sheng Tong has not even begun to show. With a thought, Lu Qingqin came to his own spiritual space again. In addition to a pure white lotus flower twirling around, there is also a pair of huge crimson pupils floating above the sea of spiritual consciousness. The red pupils flickered with light, as if there was a mighty wind and thunder in them. It's almost like the eyes of the terrifying ancient Vulcan. Boom! Just when Lu Qingqin looked at him, the pair of crimson pupils suddenly burst into a brilliant and terrifying light. As soon as these rays of light appeared, they immediately flooded into Lu Qingqin's spiritual sea. After this brilliant light collided with Lu Qingqin's sea of spirit, 
the sea of spirit that was still crystal clear just now turned crimson in an instant. What? A sharp pain came from his spiritual sea, Lu Qingqin crouched down slowly with his head in his arms, and let out a roar. Immediately afterwards, his sea of spirit burned violently, gradually turning into a crimson sea. The severe pain continued to come, this pain was not an ordinary pain, but came from the depths of the soul. Just when Lu Qingqin was about to be unable to hold on any more, the Jade God Lotus suddenly burst into a pure white light. When this ray of light shone over his spiritual sea, Lu Qingqin only felt a warm feeling like a spring breeze. The pain just now disappeared more than half in an instant. Just when Lu Qingqin thought the pain was over, a thunderous sound exploded in his mental space. Burning the heavens and the earth, burning all directions, the sun and heaven descend to the world. Burning the holy body, awaken. The vast and fiery voice sounded like a war drum, which shocked Lu Qingqin's soul for an instant. The way of the sun, the holy body of the burning sky. Lu Qingqin muttered in his mouth, the next moment, his eyes went dark, and he passed out directly. Hey, Brother Chen, Brother Chen, wake up. At the gate of the palace, a burly young man was anxiously shaking the body of a red-haired young man. Sister Lan, what's wrong with Brother Chen, why haven't you woke up yet? After shaking Lu Qingqin for a while, Yu Shan anxiously looked at Anyulin beside him. There is no injury on his body, it should be related to the soul. Anyulin was also observing Lu Qingqin carefully, and after pondering for a while, he said this to Yu Shan. It's about the soul, Sister Lan, don't scare me, Brother Chen won't die. It's all my fault, I shouldn't be practicing that shit stick technique. When Yu Shan heard that Lu Qingqin's injury was related to the soul, his heart gradually turned cold, and he spoke in a distraught manner. Who told you that Lu Qingqin died? He may just have some changes in his body. Didn't you see his hair? Seeing Yu Shan's distraught face, and Yilin stroked her forehead and said helplessly. Stop, stop, stop shaking, if you shake again, my body will fall apart. At this moment, Lu Qingqin's leisurely voice came. Brother Chen, you finally woke up. I thought you were dead. Also, what happened to your hair? It's so cool. Emperor Tian paid off. Under the crazily shaking of Yushan, Lu Qingqin finally woke up early. Hair, what happened to my hair? Hearing Yushan's words, Lu Qingqin was shocked, and quickly patted his head. Ha, huh, it's okay, it's okay, the hair is still there. After Lu Qingqin touched his head, he breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't want to be bald at a young age. Brother Chen, why did your hair turn fiery red, and it even became long hair? Yu Shan stared at Lu Qingqin's head and asked with a puzzled expression. Is it fiery red, or is it long hair? As if thinking of something, Lu Qingqin's storage ring flashed, and a huge mirror appeared in his hand. The boy in the mirror has a handsome face, thick long hair, and crystal clear body. But the long crimson hair made this handsome young man look wild and unrestrained. It's still acceptable, seeing himself in the mirror, Lu Qingqin secretly said in his heart. I don't know how it became like this, maybe it has something to do with Wuhan. Seeing the dubious eyes of the two looking at him, Lu Qingqin shrugged helplessly. So this is ah, hearing Lu Qingqin's answer, Yu Shan and Anyulin nodded thoughtfully. By the way, where have you been? Why did it take you so long to come back? Are you in danger? As if thinking of something, Lu Qingqin suddenly asked about the two of them. We didn't encounter any danger. Sister Lan and I were lucky enough to find three volumes of Emperor-level exercises and combat skills. Yu Shan scratched his head, he had never hidden anything from Lu Qingqin. Yes, one volume of Emperor-level top-grade exercises and two volumes of Emperor-level middle-grade combat skills. And Yilin also said in response, and then handed the roll of Ice Jade Lingguang finger to Lu Qingqin. Lu Qingqin took it over and took a look, good guy, it turned out to be an emperor-level middle-grade combat skill of ice attribute, or fingering. Miss N, if I'm not mistaken, you should also be of the ice attribute, then this set of combat skills is very suitable for you. Lu Qingqin smiled slightly, and handed it back to Anyilin. Although this volume of imperial-level middle-grade combat skills is very suitable for Han Meng, Lu Qingqin doesn't like to take advantage of others. Moreover, and Yilin obtained this volume of combat skills by herself, so it should be her chance. It's okay, just make a copy of this volume of combat skills and return it to me. 
and Yilin waved her hand, signaling to Lu Qingqin to copy it down first. Yes, Sister Lan is right, why didn't I think of it? Yu Shan patted himself on the head, his eyes suddenly lit up. Sister Lan, I still have two imperial level scrolls here, why don't you make a copy and bring them back? Seeing an Yilin like this, Yu Shan felt a little sorry. If it wasn't for an Yilin, he might not even be able to get a scroll of imperial rank. No need, these two emperor level exercises and combat skills are not available in the Ice and Snow Temple, and don't you lack these in the Heavenly Tao Holy Academy? And Yilin glanced at Yu Shan, a little surprised at the boy's honesty. Faced with the temptation of such a treasure, he can still have a clear conscience, which is really rare. Okay then, Yu Shan responded and handed the two scrolls to Lu Qingqin. That's good, that's right. After you return to the academy, you will hand over this volume of emperor level top grade exercises to the academy. The academy will definitely be very happy. Lu Qingqin glanced at the scroll, returned it to Yu Shan, and signaled him to hand it over to the academy himself. Immediately afterwards, he handed the volume of Bing Yu Ling Wangji to An Yilin, apparently already transcribing it. Miss An, thank you very much. No need, the value of the holy blood Tongtian fruit you gave is far higher than that of emperor level combat skills. An Yilin chuckled lightly, and took the scroll. Brother Chen, where are we going next? Seeing that the resources had been allocated, Yu Shan asked. A lot of time has been wasted before. It is estimated that the other palaces have been searched, otherwise we. Ding, the inheritance of the saints is about to appear, and the host is requested to be ready. Just when Lu Qingqin was about to speak and leave with Yu Shan, the system's long-lost mechanical voice suddenly sounded. The inheritance land is about to appear. System, how do you know? After hearing the system's voice, Lu Qingqin became curious and asked silently in his heart. But the system obviously ignored him. Brother Chen, what else would we do? Seeing Lu Qingqin froze suddenly, Yu Shan asked with some doubts. And Yilin also looked at Lu Qingqin speechlessly, she felt that this boy was a little different from others. Ah, ha, why don't we wait and see? The inheritance land hasn't appeared yet. Suddenly, Yu Shan's voice came from next to his ear, and Lu Qingqin almost didn't react. Okay, then let's wait and see, maybe there really is a saint's inheritance. Since she has already obtained the imperial level combat skills, and Yilin still has great hopes for whether this palace has the inheritance of the saint realm. So the three of them closed their eyes and began to rest silently. Why do I feel that there seems to be something extra in my body? Lu Qingqin closed his eyes and began to silently feel the changes in his body. First of all, the biggest change is the seed in the Dantian. The red gold seed has grown three times in size compared to before, as if something is about to burst out of the ground. In addition, the biggest change is the physical body, the muscles are like steel wires, and the bones are like steel. After the awakening of the Fenshin Holy Physique, the originally extremely open tendons were enlarged several times. In other words, the current Lu Qingqin can unleash his supernatural powers even more brazenly. This is a very big improvement for his combat power. The third change is the pair of crimson pupils in the Sea of Spirits. Compared with before, Lu Qingqin always felt that something was conceived in these pair of huge pupils, or that some treasure would be born from them. This feeling was never felt before. It feels so good to break through. Feeling the changes from his body, Lu Qingqin sighed silently in his heart. Rumble. However, at this moment, the entire ground suddenly trembled violently. It was as if some terrifying existence was about to wake up. What's going on? Why is the ground shaking? And Yilin's expression was serious, she tightly held the long sword in her hand, and her whole body trembled slightly with the tremor of the ground. With a burst of wings, Lu Qingqin rose into the air and looked in all directions. He found a place not far away that trembled the most. Just as Lu Qingqin was looking around, a quaint hall that looked like a rock was slowly rising from the ground. After the main hall rose, a huge beam of light shot towards the dark palace in the sky. The same is true for the other three directions of the secret realm. When these beams of light disappeared, a huge staircase appeared in the eyes of Lu Qingqin and others. And the direction the stairs lead to is the huge dark palace above the clouds. Brother Chen, this, this is the emergence of the inheritance of the saint. 
Seeing such an astonishing scene in front of him, Yu Shan asked in shock. That's right, it should be the inheritance of the saints, let's go there quickly. Liu Qingqin replied in response, and then turned into a stream of light and went straight to the quaint stone palace. As soon as this palace appeared, he understood it almost instantly. No wonder Yu Shan and Anyuan's highest scrolls were only imperial top grade. It turned out that the real good things only appeared now. Seeing that Lu Qingqin had already flown towards the hall, Yu Shan and Anyuan quickly followed. Look, what is that? It seems to be a stone palace, nothing special. Will the inheritance of the saint be in that stone palace? A young man asked with some doubts, after all, it is the inheritance of the saint, how precious it is. It doesn't matter, let's go and see first, what if there is really a saint's inheritance in it? A young man no longer hesitated, and rushed towards the stone palace. The next moment, many warriors followed. Beyond the secret realm, the country of Wa. Look, someone appeared in that arena. A girl in a certain school playground suddenly pointed to the sky and yelled into the air. For a while, many people around looked in the direction of her finger. Not only that, at this moment, many people in Wa Wu discovered the changes in the sky for the first time. Since the dark palace and the four arenas have been suspended above the sky, these people can clearly see the scene on the arena no matter where they are in China. Heavenly Temple, the meeting room on the third floor of Tiansheng Pavilion. It seems that their progress is very fast, and they have reached this point. Around a round table, Lu Chengfeng said solemnly. It's really fast. Hearing his words, Ku Chuan nodded slightly. Just now, Tiansheng Pavilion initiated a major meeting, saying that something important happened. By the way, old man, I don't know what's the reason for calling us this time. Long Feng asked suddenly, he didn't understand what was worth calling them all over. Long Feng, soon mobilize all the personnel of the Heavenly Dao Holy Academy and disperse them to various places in Wabuo. Tian Lao, who was sitting in the innermost place, spoke slowly. Yes, Long Feng replied in response, turning into a stream of light and leaving the Tiansheng Pavilion. Seniors, is there anything else? I will leave first if there is nothing else. Seeing Long Feng leave, Han Meng couldn't help asking. Seeing Han Meng's anxious look, Tian Lao shook his head, and then said. Girl Han, you are already at the top rank martial emperor realm, what makes you so anxious? No, no, I'm rushing back to practice. Seeing what Tian Lao said, Han Meng Chao blushed, and began to make excuses. PFF. The seniors and the other deans who heard these words showed strange expressions on their faces. Nangong Kianyu even laughed outright. Nangong Kianyu, what are you laughing at? Hearing Nangong Kianyu's laughter, Han Meng raised her brows and shouted at her in embarrassment. What am I laughing at? Giggle giggling. Of course I'm Dean Shaohan. Is he really in a hurry to go back to practice or is he in a hurry to leave to see someone in the sky? Facing Han Meng's somewhat embarrassing questioning, Nangong Kianyu smiled slightly and said this shocking sentence. Ha 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 ha. After listening to what she said, Ku Chuan couldn't help laughing, but Lu Chengfeng quickly covered his mouth. Nangong Kianyu, you. Han Meng's pretty face was flushed red at the moment, her slender jade hands pointed at Nangong Kianyu angrily, and the pair of towering ones became unsteady because of anger. Oh, what am I? Seeing Han Meng's expression like this, Nangong Kianyu became even more unscrupulous. Nangong Kianyu, I found out that the necklace on your neck is quite beautiful some time ago. Why don't I see you wearing it now? Could it be for a certain man? Quote. As if thinking of something, a strange smile appeared on Han Meng's pretty face that was still flushed just now. You, this time it was Nangong Kianyu's turn to be speechless. Others on the field noticed that the face of the dean of Nangong suddenly turned blue and pale. Okay, okay. Stop arguing, you two, let's go out together and see what's going on outside. Seeing that the two people were arguing more and more fiercely, Tian Lao showed a helpless smile and changed the subject. Humph, Nangong Kianyu snorted coldly, and then appeared outside the Tiansheng Pavilion. Others in the conference room also came out. Kama. With the opening of this huge rock hall, many warriors rushed to this side one after another. Even a few warriors who were close had already entered the hall. When Lu Qingqin and the others arrived, there were already seven or eight people in the hall. 
But the strange thing is that they stood very close to each other, completely defenseless. Yu Shan, Miss An, if someone shows up, don't do anything. Liu Qingchen looked at the seven or eight warriors in front of him, his tone a little dignified. It is good. Um, the two replied in succession that they still attached great importance to Liu Qingchen's words. Immediately afterwards, the three of them came to a corner of the main hall and waited quietly. Call out, call out. Just a few minutes after Liu Qingchen came in, another four or five people came in. Very well, so you are hiding here, die. As soon as these four or five people came in, they yelled at the seven or eight warriors in the center of the hall. A young man in a brocade robe walked out of the seven or eight warriors. Facing the provocation of the five, he raised a middle finger. Obviously there are some grievances. Brothers, kill him. Seeing that he dared to provoke the five of them when his death was imminent, the leading martial artist gave a loud shout. Immediately, he charged at the young man in brocade robe. Facing the menacing five people, the young man in brocade robe still raised his middle finger and had no intention of resisting. It seems to have resigned to fate. But the next moment, a magical scene happened. All the attacks from these five warriors were neutralized by the invisible force, and the young man in brocade robe was not harmed at all. But the five youths who attacked just now were all on fire at the moment. Ah, what's going on? Help me put it out. Help. With the screams of these five people, the fire became more and more intense, and finally, several piles of pitch black ashes appeared on the ground of the main hall. Fighting is prohibited before the inheritance is opened, and those who violate it will die. Just after the five youths died, a magnificent voice came from all directions of the hall. Fortunately, I listened to Brother Chen's words, otherwise the consequences would be disastrous. Seeing this scene, Yu Shan patted his chest with a face full of survivors. As more and more people came in, the atmosphere in the hall gradually became tense. When the thirtieth person came in, the entrance to the rock hall slammed shut. Immediately afterwards, three huge stone pillars slowly appeared. A moment later, a total of nine objects appeared on the top of the three stone pillars. Each stone pillar has a weapon, a scroll and a storage ring on it. But there is a barrier visible to the naked eye around these three items. The number of people is full, and the inheritance begins. As the three stone pillars rose slowly, that majestic voice sounded again. Rumble. As soon as this majestic voice fell, the hall suddenly shook. A strong ray of light appeared in everyone's eyes, and immediately after that, the world spun. When Liu Qingchen opened his eyes again, he found that he was in a huge arena. The battle of inheritance is about to begin, everyone, please get ready. Within an hour, the last three survivors on the field will receive the inheritance of the saints. Quote, wait, what if there are more than three people alive in an hour? At this moment, the brocade-robed youth just asked. Within an hour, if there are more than three people left in the arena, they will be killed randomly. Until the number of people becomes three. Quote, I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.